Chapter 51 In the Apocalypse, zombies are not the only ones to be killed. I understand. Shay nodded lightly. Since it was a task entrusted to him by Kong Zan, he had to do it well. Moreover, she is strong enough by now. Kong Zan's blood, plus genetic enhancement potion, allowing her to even tear steel with her bare hands. Also, when I'm not around, you have to dominate this place. You also want to be a more powerful person than your father, right? Kong Zan looked at her and asked abruptly. Is that so, boss? You mean, let me control this place? Sire was a little shocked, but quickly recovered. As for her father, he is the leader here. Kong Zan's intention was naturally to let her surpass her father in all aspects, bring this area under her control. Not bad. As a leader, I can only tell you, don't be merciful. When necessary, not only kill zombies, but also people. And you must be decisive. Understand? Kong Zan's eyes were slightly serious. Dot. Killing. Yeah, I will. Sire also nodded heavily. Okay, that's all that needs to be said. I'll take a rest first, Kong Zan said. It was obviously a sign that Sire could leave. After all, he is not a person whose mind is full of pornographic waste. Just explain things properly. If you do that kind of thing, there will be plenty of opportunities in the future. I understand. Dot boss. My room is right next to it. Call me if you need anything. Shea stood up. A serious look. Okay, Kong Zan nodded indifferently. After all, it's so easy to get. Wouldn't it be boring? It's still cute though. Kawaii is justice. Talk. She is a genius. It's still very useful. As long as it resists the large wave of zombies at the back, it can be stable here for a long time. Then she walked out of Kong Zan's room. Aha! Kong Zan stretched lazily. He continued to lie down. In his last life, his family was a neat. It's rare to be so leisurely. Kong Zan bought a few comic books from the Points Mall to read. The prequel to Zan Crimson Eyes. I couldn't find this online before. Kong Zan opened his eyes and looked at the book in his hand. This is the first volume of Zan Crimson High to Me Zero. Very nice. The day passed quickly. Simply eat, take a shower, and sleep. Ah. Isn't this just tourism? So cool and spicy. Sure enough it is. I travel when others are doomed. Dash. The next day, Kong Zan just opened the door. I saw all the girls looking down from the balcony in the corridor on the second floor. Kong Zan, good morning. Xiang Tsai greeted Kong Zan immediately when he saw him coming. She changed into a kimono. Very beautiful. As expected of Yamato Nadashiko. Then all the girls turned around and said hello. Good morning, boss. Good morning, boss. Re followed Sire and echoed, here comes the boss. Good morning, Shizuka also said happily. Good morning, brother Kong Zan. Alice also said, good morning. Brother Kong Zan, Shinobu also greeted him. Oh, we're all so familiar, there's no need to say hello to everyone. Good morning, everyone. Kong Zan smiled. This feels a little too formal, even though he is the boss. But he doesn't like being too serious, and prefers to be more casual. Talk. The reason why he wants to become stronger, isn't it just to do whatever you want? What's going on? Kong Zan looked down and asked suddenly. My father is back. She looked at the man below with a slightly serious look. That is the lord of the old bed lord, the current head of the Dakagi family. A man who decides everything according to his own rules. Sire explained slowly. Dash, next to the fountain below. Sire's father, Dakagi Soichiro, was standing over there. The body looks very strong and strong. He waved to someone next to him. Subsequently, a car drove over pulling an iron cage. There was a zombie in the cage, and it still exuded a disgusting stench. Immediately afterwards, Dakagi Soichiro looked seriously at the survivors around him. The preaching began. His eyes finally stopped at the zombies in the cage. This man, the name is Doi Oraitaro. He is an old retainer who worked for the Dakagi family and is also a good friend of mine. And today, during the operation to rescue my companions, he was bitten and turned into what he is now. Look, this is the ultimate in self-sacrifice. It is a noble act as a human being. But he is no longer a human being. He has become something harmful to humanity. At the same time as Dakagi Suichiro said, the zombies were also roaring and hitting the iron cage in Suichiro's direction. Maybe it's the zombies' reaction to the sound. Suichiro Dakagi did not stop talking. So, I'm here now. He spoke at the same time. He pulled out the stainless steel sword from his waist. To my dear ones, fulfill my obligations as a man of the Dakagi family, he said. His eyes signaled the person next to him to open the cage. Soon. The iron cage containing the zombies was opened. Zombies rushed out instantly. Only the light of swords and shadows were seen. Separation of head and body. Blood splattered everywhere. Their zombie's head fell into a nearby fountain. This is exactly the situation we are in now. Even our dear friends and family members. We must defeat them without hesitation. If you want to continue to live, fight. That's it. Dakagi Suichi's speech also ended. He put away his fine steel sword and turned around to leave. He didn't know if it would be useful. Even such intense speeches are meant to wake people up. Let everyone understand the current situation. Let all survivors be prepared to wake up. If there is no determination, then it will be very difficult to survive. But what about these survivors? At this moment, everyone still has a lucky mentality. I haven't accepted the changes in this world at all. If these survivors continue, 
They will only become maggots that keep devouring us. It's better to kill such guys. Kong Zan curled his lips and spoke harshly. Kill. Kill. Lee didn't expect Kong Zan to suddenly say such words. But if you think about it carefully, it makes no sense. Let them harm people here. If you don't go out to look for supplies, it's really better to kill them. But then she thought about it, thinking about it as a person. It was still very difficult for her to kill her kind. Boss, don't worry. If they continue to be unable to accept the current situation of the world, I will kill them. Sire's voice sounded like lost emotions, and he looked at the group of humans. It seems I have to take a high look at you, Shay. Kong Zan seemed to have a hint of admiration in his eyes. Thank you, Brother Kong Zin, for not training you in vain. Seeing her determination, Ninja nodded with satisfaction. Although she doesn't kill anyone, it doesn't mean she can't kill anyone. Creatures like humans are easier to kill than zombies and ghosts. And Xyz also agreed with Kong Zan's words. These pests must be eliminated, otherwise, the young leaves will not be able to grow healthily. If the pests persist, then what awaits the young leaves is the withering of hundreds of holes. Chapter 52 Practice Xiaren, will you go practice with me? Let me see how strong you are now. Kong Zan looked at Ren and said. Do you want to compete with brother Kong Zin? Okay. Ren hesitated for a moment and nodded. She also wants to know how her strength is now. Boss, are you going to compete with Shinobu? Sire was looking forward to it. I still don't know how strong my boss really is. I wonder if Ren can force the boss out. Because in her eyes, Ren is also very strong. Oh, teacher is looking forward to it too. It's the game between the boss and the little ninja. Shizuka also narrowed her eyes. Let's go. Kong Zan glanced at ninja. He said and walked downstairs. Shinobu followed behind. Dash, that's it. The two of them arrived outside the house. All the girls were watching from the balcony on the second floor. The location of Kong Zan and Shinobu is next to the fountain, where Soichiro Takagi stood before. There are many survivors nearby. Come down together, both of you. People nearby just started to eat melon. What are these two people doing? Is it a competition? That girl looks like she's in her teens, right? That boy looks like he's 20 years old. Isn't this bullying? Dot. That's it. People nearby began to complain. But it doesn't affect the two of them. Dash. On the balcony, a duel between two such powerful guys who'll win. Lee whispered. The small voice was still noticed by Seiko. Don't get me wrong, it's just practice. Besides, winning or losing is determined before it even starts. Shinobu is bound to lose. Seiko spoke first, so that everyone's expectations are not too high. After all, it was already determined that this battle would be nothing more than a one sided crushing. Oh, Sister Seiko, how do you know that Sister Shinobu will lose? Alice felt a little strange. Kong Zan is very strong. Anyway, just watch. Xyza smiled, picked up Alice. Otherwise, the balcony was blocked by a brick wall, and Alice was not tall enough to see the battle outside. Dash, by the fountain. Xiaren, come on. Don't show mercy. Kong Zan looked at Ren and waved to her. Indicates that it's time to start. At this moment, Ren looked at Kong Zan seriously. His hand is already holding the niche iron sword. Because she knows two breathing methods, corresponding to different swords. She wasn't planning on using bug breath. Instead, he used the breath of flowers to compete with Kong Zan. As for the niche iron sword, it is natural to use a sword that is suitable for the flower breathing sword skill. Flower breath middle dot four types dot red flower clothes. Shinobi rushed forward. Two arc shaped slashes were sent out from top to bottom. There seemed to be pink petals scattered around. I don't know if it's an illusion, but Kong Zan just stretched out two fingers, armed with domineering aura. Two sounds were heard directly. Ding, ding. The two slashes were easily resolved. It turned out that with just two fingers, he easily blocked the slashing attack. The people around were dumbfounded, and the battle between the two still continues. It's an armed color, I'll come too. Shinobi looked serious and attached a black armed color haki to the niche iron sword. Flower breath middle dot four forms were used again. The powerful slash struck again. But it's just a repeat. Xiaren. The strength is still not enough. Come and try my sword. Kong Zan finished speaking. Armed haki covers his right hand. Wah, flowers breath middle dot two forms dot mickage plum. He instantly sent out arc-shaped slashes in all directions, the trajectory of which was like the petals of a plum blossom. Every slash was focused on Kong Zan's sword. The result is still not as good as before. This sword cannot be stopped at all. Shinobu quickly blocked it with his niche iron sword. Wow, Shinobi flew out directly. She inserted the niche iron sword directly into the ground to offset the resistance. Ha, huh, ha. Huh. She was already a little out of breath. Kong Zan looked at his hand, but it was unscathed. However, if there is no armor color, it may really break the skin a bit. Not bad. The survivors around him were already numb. Dash, even Takagi Suichiro was watching from a distance. Who is that man? Such a guy can no longer be described in human terms. Suichiro Takagi was so frightened by this scene that he broke into a cold sweat. Such a powerful sword skill, I don't know how many times stronger than myself. But the man was able to do it with ease. And use your bare hands to fight hard. Simply astonishing. It seems that she came back with Sire. That girl is quite extraordinary. Suichiro. Your sword skills are about to be compared with those of children. Next to Dakagi Suichiro was Dakagi Yuriko. It is also his wife, 
Sire's mother, TSK, you're a brat now. That's really awesome. Suichiro Takagi didn't even try to hide it. But sincere praise. Dash, hey, is that guy really a human? Isn't that outrageous? Could it be some mutant human? It's really too powerful. And you saw that girl waving when the sword was struck. It was as if it disappeared instantly. I couldn't see clearly. I can't see clearly either. This guy is no longer an ordinary person. Is he a monster? Dot. The surrounding sounds gradually became noisy. Dash, and Ren still looked at Kong Zan. She planned to make another move. Then adjust your breathing quickly. Flower breath middle dot five types dot fruitless peony. A solemn breath emanated from her body. At the same time, she opened up a transparent world. At this time, she seemed to be able to see a transparent world. As for the markings, she is open at all times. After all, there are no side effects. But the transparent world is very different from the world we usually see. It is rarely turned on. Then she concentrated. The body is like an arrow leaving the bowstring. Swish. Sound. All nine pink slashes were focused on Kong Zan. If you are an ordinary person, it is estimated that the pressure of this knife alone is enough to crush it. But Kong Zan is not. He slightly stretched out two fingers. Just the moment the knife struck, the blade was clamped. Easy. Kong Zan gently pulled the sword blade. Shinobi's niche iron sword came out of his hand, and Ren also fell into Kong Zan's arms because of inertia. The sun sword was in Kong Zan's hand. He held the niche iron sword in one hand and pressed Shinobi's back with the other, pressing him into his arms. Brother Kong Zan, I lost. Shinobi raised his head, his face rosy. But he was not unhappy because he lost. Instead, he looked a little shy. Very good. Kong Zan ruffled her hair. Let her go. She inserted the niche iron sword in her hand into her scabbard. And this time, ba bang bang, Dakagi Suichiro walked up and clapped his hands. Wonderful. It's so wonderful. Suichiro Dakagi said with a smile. What dot is your name? Suichiro Dakagi asked. Kong Zan. Kong Zan said directly without covering up. What about this swordsman? Suichiro Dakagi looked at Shinobi again. Butterfly Ninja. Ninja replied. But his eyes were still on Kong Zan. Dash. Chapter 53 Power So Dot what's the matter? Kong Zan asked with his arms crossed and his eyes slightly confused. After all, they asked for their names. You can't just want to get to know each other, right? Ahem. I am the head of the Dakagi family, Dakagi Suichiro. Dakagi Suichiro said with a serious face. I know. Kong Zan nodded. I actually want you to join us. Dakagi Suichiro gave a tentative fake cough. Then he spoke seriously. I refuse. Kong Zan said directly. Not sloppy at all. Ah. Uh. Dakagi Suichiro's eyes twitched. He really didn't give me any face. TSK, seeing her husband deflated, Gao Cheng Yuriko covered her mouth and laughed. After all, there are not many, or even very few, people who can defeat the leader of the Goching family. Dad, what did you say to the boss? At this moment, Shay ran over with an unhappy look on his face. He looked at Soichiro Takagi. Boss, do you recognize him as? Boss, TSK, TSK, TSK. Takagi Soichiro clicked his tongue in surprise. After all, this stubborn daughter was allowed to do whatever she wanted. And even though she couldn't handle it, she was actually handled by this brat. Seeing that he was still very worried about this brat, the feeling was self-evident. Oh my, this is really incredible. Xiao Sire, you don't like him, do you? Dakagi Yuriko covered her mouth. He looked at the two of them with a red face. What? Yes, I just like the boss. Shay hesitated for a moment, but the next second he said it with firm conviction. This time, Dakagi Suichiro and Dakagi Yuriko were dumbfounded. This dot is this still my daughter? In front of everyone. He didn't even care about any face, and almost without hesitation said that he liked a boy. He didn't look like Dakagi Sire's character, and this scene happened to be seen by the people who came from behind, because Sire ran down after seeing her parents, and the rest of the people walked down, so a little slower. Lee's face also turned red, but her heart was sour. But the one who feels even more sad inside is Seiko. After all, Seiko has become Kongzan's girlfriend, but she hasn't told them yet. Seiko put her hands on her chest, one hand tightly holding the back of the other. Looking very nervous. Ahem, Shay, you are getting more and more bold. Kong Zan coughed tactically. Then he glanced at Seiko. He showed a smile that reassured her. Seeing this, Seiko breathed a sigh of relief. HMPH, I'm not wrong. Shay crossed her chest and turned her head. It seems that a little temper has arisen. Okay, I know. Kong Zan walked towards Sire and rubbed her head. Only then did Sire smile. The cute tiger fangs were also revealed. Kong Zan then looked at Soichiro Dakagi. Speaking of which, Sire is really awesome now. Master Gao Cheng. Do you want to see it? Kong Zan asked Gao Cheng Suichiro. Awesome, interesting. How do you want Sai to show us how powerful she is? Suichiro Dakagi asked with some interest. The corners of Kong Zan's mouth slightly raised. Then, let's do this. Ask someone to bring a larger stone. At least dot a diameter of more than one meter. How about it? Kong Zan asked Suichiro Dakagi. Although Dakagi Suichiro was a little confused, 
he looked at Akagi Yuriko beside him, and the two nodded to each other. Okay, just wait. Then, Dakagi Soichiro immediately sent someone to find a huge stone. After a while, several men moved together to move a piece of stone wall. Bang! Several men placed heavy stone walls on the ground, making a sound. It's just that this stone was manually polished into a stone wall, rectangular, somewhat similar to the masonry of the wall. After all, there is no way that kind of cobblestone can be found here. There are no big stones, only this kind of stone wall which is the repair material for the outer wall. We have brought the things. What do you want to do? Soichiro Dakagi looked at Kong Zan. There was a slight curiosity in his eyes. Stone wall? It looks much brittle than that round boulder. Forget it. It's okay, sir. Go and break this stone wall. Kong Zan glanced at sir. Then he pointed at the stone wall. What? Are you kidding me? This stone wall is taller than sir. Crush. Dakagi Soichiro was a little confused. You must know that this is a backup material for repairing peripheral walls. That is, the material to resist the zombies outside. You can see its hardness. My daughter has never practiced martial arts since she was a child. How could she be beaten to pieces? The surrounding survivors were also surprised. I didn't expect the daughter of the Gotching family to have such abilities. No, look at the expression on the Gotching family's face. It's obvious that he doesn't know it himself. Then dot why did that man let the Gotching family's daughter break this piece? Stone wall? How can ordinary people break such a big stone wall? Even if they practice martial arts, they can't. If it can be broken, only supermen can break it, right? That's right. Dot. The noisy voices of the survivors started again. After all, this kind of thing is too outrageous. And such a thick stone wall boulder. Sire, if it doesn't work, forget it, don't be brave. Yuriko said to Sire, seeming a little worried. I think Sire might be trying to show off her strength. But she actually held a glimmer of hope in her heart. If the stone wall can really be broken, then Sire must have the power to protect herself. Mom, I am also very strong. She grinned. At this time, Kong Zan took out a pair of black leather gloves, and there was a pair of finger tigers attached to the gloves, which were obviously matching. Then he threw it to Sire, and Sire caught it immediately, perhaps because of a special connection. The two of them cooperated very well. She also understood what Kong Zan meant and put on his gloves. This finger tiger is cool, and it's also tapered. Sire slowly walked to the stone wall, looking at the two-meter-high stone wall. She clenched her fists and concentrated. Hold your breath, boom. In an instant, she waved countless fists. After images filled the air, the stone wall exploded instantly. Smoke and dust suddenly rolled up. The fist wind brought smoke and dust, which affected many people around him. Both the foreign survivors and the Gao Cheng family were dumbfounded. Not bad. It's just that the power is not concentrated enough. Concentrate the power on one point and don't let it spread out. You can do better. But it's not bad now. Kong Zan nodded and commented got up. Wow, Sister She is so amazing. Alice exclaimed. You did a good job. Shinobi raised his lips slightly. Oh I want to try it too. Shizuka saw Saya shining brightly, and she suddenly wanted to try her own power. And me. Lee also echoed. Ah, this should be the last spare piece to repair the stone wall. Next time, Soichiro Dakagi explained to the two of them after being shocked. At the same time I felt weird inside. These two people also want to try it. It's hard to believe that they also have such power. Then he looked at his daughter again. Start thinking. What's the matter? How could his daughter become so strong all of a sudden? The last time we met, it was still the three-legged cat kung fu. Chapter 54 If you want to kill, just kill. How about it? Sire is awesome now, right? Kong Zan looked at Suichiro Dakagi and said with a smile. You dot what did you do? Sire has become so powerful. Suichiro Dakagi had to admit that Sire was indeed powerful at this moment and stronger than himself. Secret. Kong Zan said without hesitation. Brother is a man full of secrets. How could I tell you? He said silently in his heart. Dakagi Soichiro frowned. What an answer. So Dakagi Soichiro looked at Sire. Obviously, he wanted to know the answer from his daughter. Don't look at me. I won't tell you. Sire saw Suichiro Dakagi's gaze and decisively refused to answer. Then she looked at Kong Zan and said directly, Boss, let's go. It was indeed a bit embarrassing to be watched by so many people around. Okay. Let's go. That head of the Goching family, remember to finish. Kong Zan waved his hand. Then he walked back, looking at the backs of Kong Zan and the girls. Dakagi Suichira couldn't help but sigh. Today's young people are so amazing. Not only are they strong, but they also have so many women around them. My own daughter also fell into it. Dakagi Suichiro smiled bitterly. That's pretty good. Although I don't know what he did. He can make Sire become so powerful, but I think Sire must have some status in his heart. In this case, he will also protect us, Sire. And I think... He is not a casual man, Dakagi Yuriko pondered. Oh, that's right. After all, from what I saw just now, he has never been intimate with these girls. Saya, on the other hand, is so anxious to say that she likes him. This stupid daughter, doesn't she know what it means to strike later? Soichiro Dakagi smiled bitterly. He shook his head. But Saya seems to have a good relationship with those girls. Maybe it's not bad. It's also possible that the other girls are just friends of that man. Yuriko Dakagi said. You said it too. Maybe, maybe. 
It's all uncertain. In short, let's wait and see for a while. Soichiro Dakagi glanced at his wife, and then spoke again. Yes, they have only been here for a day, and we still don't know much about them. Yuriko Goching also nodded in agreement. The simple conversation between the two ended like this. Dash, inside the mansion. Second floor corridor. Are you hungry? Kongzan turned his head slightly and asked. A little bit. Want to go to dinner? Boss. Let's go to dinner together. Boss. What do you want to eat? Dot. It seems that the girls are all eager to do something. These guys are now very skilled at calling boss, boss. There is a shortage of food now, sire. Your family doesn't have much food, right? Kong Zan looked at sire and asked. The truth was just as he expected. Indeed, because there are too many survivors now. Food is in short supply, and there is nothing we can do about it. Shay said seriously. Come to my room. Kong Zan said and walked to his room. The women looked at each other. Some people don't understand what Kong Zan wants to do. But he still followed. All the girls entered Kong Zan's room. Fortunately the place is not small. Close the door. Kong Zan reminded. The last one is Lee. She is also very well behaved. There was only a squeak sound as the door was closed. Then, Kong Zan waved his hand. In an instant, more than a dozen boxes of snack gift packages appeared. It's that super luxurious snack gift pack from before. Eat. I still have more. Kong Zan didn't care. Okay, boss Kong Zan is the best. Alice jumped up and cheered. The girls saw this. I also started to take a box and rummage through it. After all, there are always boxes of food to eat. The mineral water inside can be heated by the microwave inside and you can also use it to make instant noodles. Anyway, there are a lot of things. These dozen boxes, enough for three meals a day, can feed them for a month. Then, let's get started. Seko smiled softly. I plan to use these for cooking. Teacher, I want to do it too. Shizuka also joined in. Although because of her natural stupidity, it was somewhat of a disservice. But it's not a big problem. Alice was eating chocolate and watching to learn. There is also Count Buddha jumping over the wall which can be eaten after adding it. There are many that just need to be heated in the microwave. It's just that king crab is more troublesome to eat. This king crab weighs 10 pounds, which is quite big. But the microwave was barely plugged in. This microwave oven can be used directly as an oven, which is pretty much it. Just a little small. The scent spreads throughout the room. The main ones were in sire. After all, Butterfly Ninja is only a 13-year-old child. Seko let her play with Alice. You must know that Shinobi's strength and mental abilities are not in line with his age. Shinobi usually feels quite serious. She also chatted with Alice without saying a word and ate the snacks inside. Honestly, she felt that killing zombies was much easier than killing ghosts. In this world, basically every zombie has similar combat capabilities. If ghosts were like this, wouldn't it be easy to kill ghosts? How could humans and ghosts be in a stalemate for so long? It is estimated that those ghosts have long since died. After about an hour of fussing, the food was finally ready. Shay moved a big table over from somewhere. That's all. Everyone gathered around the table and ate. Dash, the time quickly moved to the afternoon. Everyone gathered in Kong Zan's room to play poker. Three belts and one. Wang Za, dot. At this moment, suddenly the sky turned gray. In an instant, heavy rain fell. Kong Zan looked at the rainy weather and seemed to have thought of something. Then he walked to the window and took a look. The corners of his mouth suddenly curved. Lee, our old friend is here. Kong Zan turned his head slightly. Seeing that Kong Zan specifically called her name, Lee looked out the window curiously. He dot them. Lee's pupils shrank. She put her hands on her chest and her body trembled slightly. He's still alive, Lee said in disbelief, especially when looking at one of them. There was a little anger in his eyes. Oh, that guy is really lucky. Shinobi also walked over, raising his eyebrows slightly, and his tone was slightly sentimental. Look at the two people who just came in at the gate. Why do these two guys have the nerve to come here? She crossed his arms and looked unhappy. But Kong Zan looked at Lee. How about killing him? Lee dot will you show mercy? Kong Zan casually brought a long gun. This spear is entirely silver. The tip of the gun is red, and it does look like a good weapon. And Lee also took over the weapon. She lowered her head and said with some hesitation in her voice, Boss, I don't know. What should I do? She raised her head slightly and looked at this beautiful spear, which was a sharp weapon. This gun is quite heavy, weighing about 100 kilograms. Normally she wouldn't be able to lift it. But after drinking the genetic enhancement potion, it was a piece of cake. And Kong Zan replied to her, Only four short words. If you want to kill, just kill. Dash. Chapter 55 It's the end of the world now. Lee has arrived on the first floor. Also coming down were Seko, Saya and Shinobu. Shizuku asked her to take Alice up there. After all, someone has to take care of the baby. This time, Kong Zan was only responsible for watching the show. Under Kong Zan's inducement, Lee also made the determination to kill. After all, this man must die. Hypocrites have made him uncomfortable before. Not far ahead was Koichi Wisteria. Surprisingly, next to him is Komuro Takashi. The two seemed to be negotiating with the management here. It looked like he was planning to come in and be protected. What Kong Zan doesn't understand is that Komuro Taka actually has the nerve to come. Lee walked over slowly. Wisteria is still negotiating with the management here. Speaking of which, 
If you can save my students, I can do it myself. Koichi Zito's hypocritical words had not yet been finished. Lee has already come over. It's so great, teacher Zaiten interrupted him directly. There was anger in his voice. The spear pointed directly at Koichi Zito's head with a swish sound. Mia dot Miyamoto. Koichi Zito seemed to have never expected to meet her in such a place. Rei Komuro Takashi gritted his teeth and raised the baseball bat in his hand. He looked at Miyamoto angrily. He had not forgotten what happened when he left him. Later, they found a usable car and were able to travel all the way until now. Ah Xiao, I'm so disappointed in you. Li was also very angry. Unexpectedly, he got mixed up with his enemies. At this moment, Zaitang Hao panicked when he saw the sharp spear in front of him pointed at him. He immediately raised his hands and stepped back. Miyamoto-san. Please don't act recklessly, Koichi Zito said with some fear. He looked slightly nervous. HMPH. Do you know why my spear skills are so strong? Because I also learned spear and sword skills. My father, who has never lost in the county police competition, taught me. You once made my father suffer, that man who can do anything. The unwavering person actually cried and apologized to me for causing me to repeat the grade because of myself. And I know that the only one who can control my grades is you. But I held back, time and time again. You guy you actually appeared in front of me. Miyamoto Rez A's were full of anger. In the past school, she wanted to kill him countless times. But there were laws in those days. After chatting with Kong Zan during this period, she has understood that this era is no longer bound by the law. If you want to kill, then kill. This time, with the boss behind me, I will let go of all restraints and kill you. Lee gritted her teeth. She was gentle and had never been so angry before, and her eyes were as if she were looking at an enemy. Lee moved forward step by step. Every time she took a step forward, Koichi Wisteria had to take a step back because of the spear pointed at her. At this moment, Zaitang was covered in sweat. Rei, don't do this to teacher Zaitang. Komuro Takashi gritted his teeth. He wanted to rush forward to help Zaitang Koichi. Apparently he has been brainwashed by Koichi Zito these days. After all, Koichi Wisteria is the leader of the Wisteria sect. Most of the other students in the car were also brainwashed. But Shinobu and Seko appeared in front of Komuro Takashi in an instant, and both drew their swords. The two blades are intertwined blocking his way. Who is that dot don't stop Lee, or I'll kill you too. Shinobu seemed to have forgotten the name of the man in front of him. Then he spoke directly. Lee didn't hesitate when she saw this. Shua. In an instant, the spear pierced Wisteria's abdomen. Then he pulled out the spear very neatly. Puff. Ah. Uh, a bloody hole appeared in Zaitan Koichi's abdomen, and blood continued to gush from the wound. Although the hole was not big, it was very painful, and the wound felt like millions of ants were biting it. Miyamoto. Are you going to kill someone? Zaitan's tone was full of anger but his whole body was soaked with sweat, and he used all his strength to say these words. He sat down on the ground, exhausted. He was covering the hole in his abdomen in front of him, trying to stop the bleeding. But don't forget, one shot, two holes. But he couldn't stop the hole in the sacrococcygeal area at the back. He kept moving back. That's right. I just want to kill people. If father can't kill you, then I will kill you. Lee said coldly without hesitation. Finished. Another shot was stabbed in his right leg. Ugh. There was another scream and Zaitang almost fainted. Miyamoto dot is the daughter of a police officer dot is it possible that she will become a criminal? Zaitang's words had lost their energy, and it seemed that she could hardly hold on. Ha 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 ha, criminal, are you talking to me about the law at this time? Before the end of the world. Wasn't your father caught by my father for violating the law, so you made me repeat the grade? But you are talking about the law with me at this time? Lee laughed and then looked at Zaitan. Such a look with hatred and resentment even made Koichi purple Tang shiver all over. Don't forget, this is the end of the world. The old-fashioned laws no longer work. If I want to kill you, then kill you. So many people have already died. If one more person dies or one less person dies, it will be better. Is anyone pursuing the case? At this moment, Lee showed a crazy expression, seeing his enemy being tortured by his hands. Is there anything happier than this? Kong Zan looked at it and called the beauty crazy. Unexpectedly, if Rek kills Wisteria, it seems that she will awaken some strange attributes, focusing on a contrast. You dot don't come over. Zaitan Koichi continued to move back. The desire to survive prompted him to concentrate his strength on his throat and shout to Lee. The blood on his body flowed to the ground, leaving blood marks on the ground where he moved. At this moment, Lee felt angry when she saw Zaitan Koichi's face. Go forward. Shua the gunshot directly penetrated his skull. It brought out a lot of brain matter and brain marrow. The left and right brains are directly separated. His eyes kept rolling upward until only the whites of his eyes were left. Wisteria Koichi can be considered fallen. The blood kept pouring out. Teacher Wisteria. Rei, you murderer. Komuro Takashi couldn't believe that Rei would really kill Wisteria. When he turned his head again. Wisteria is dead. Komuro Takashi raised the baseball bat without saying a word. He hit Seko who was blocking him. Seko, on the other hand, easily pulled out the sword block it slightly with the blade of the knife, then slashed diagonally. Seko slashed several times without mercy, only to hear the swish, 
swish sound of the knife rubbing against the air. Then came the screams. Ah, uh, Komuro Takashi's two forearms were instantly cut into several pieces and fell to the ground. The pain made Komuro Takashi kneel down. His eyes were bloodshot. The blood in both arms kept gushing out. Taka, it's a pity that you didn't follow the boss properly. Mre turned her head slightly and listened to Komuro Takashi's screams. Didn't stop. Instead, he walked towards Kong Zan. Kong Zan also knew that Lee felt very uncomfortable at this moment, so he hugged Lee slightly and whispered softly. I'm still here. Thank you. Dot boss. Lee also relaxed a little and leaned in Kong Zan's arms. When Komuro Takashi saw this scene, he became even more angry. I can't help but recall the vows I made when I was a child. Dash, those were Komuro Takashi and Miyamoto when they were young. I'm here to be Arxia's bride. Really? Are you telling the truth? Yeah. Hang yourself with a hook. A liar will swallow a thousand needles. Dash, angry Komuro Takashi carried the severe pain in his body. He stood up with his remaining willpower. He gritted his teeth angrily. Oh? You can still stand up after enduring such huge pain? Seko couldn't help but look at him. Then, Komuro Takashi looked at Kong Zan angrily. You, he roared. Just open your mouth and rush towards it. It was as if he wanted to tear Kong Zan apart with his own teeth, just when it was almost one meter away from the sky. Shea punched him. Bang. The terrifying force shattered his skull brain explosion, turned into a pile of rotten flesh and bones. The headless and armless Komuro Takashi finally collapsed. Although we have been classmates since kindergarten, if you want to hurt the boss, you must die, Komuro Takashi, Saya said with a dark face. The black gloves and knuckles on his hands were already splattered with blood. No mercy, dash. Chapter 56, Stay in my room and not leave? Hey, put these away. Shea pointed at the management staff and ordered directly. And that person naturally knew sire. I saw the blood and flesh all over the ground. It's really hard for most people to accept it. Miss Dot you're like this Dot it's hard for the head of the family to explain. When the management staff saw this scene, they were already shaking with fear. It's a bit awkward to speak. Just report it truthfully. Also, drive out all the people they brought. I will take responsibility for any problems. Shay showed no mercy. At this moment, it was as if she was the head of the family. Well, miss, I understand. Seeing Sire's serious expression, the manager also nodded seriously. Then he went to deal with it. After all, after truthfully reporting the matter, it was Dakagi Suichiro who decided how to handle the matter. While there is no one around now, let's get rid of the body first. Otherwise, if other survivors see it, they will spread the word. It will cause panic. So be careful. The managers saw that they were veterans and quickly started to sort it out. Boss, let's continue playing poker. Shea turned to look at Kong Zan, instantly transformed into a cute kitten, showing its little tiger teeth. Let's go. Kong Zan also nodded, looking at Lee in his arms. He also rubbed her head. Let's go, Lee. Well, boss. Lee left Kong Zan's arms. Seko on the side was still feeling sour inside. After all, that was her boyfriend. Sure enough. She would still be unhappy if she was holding another girl. But she didn't say it because she felt it was best for Kong Zan to say it himself. She also believed that Kong Zan would tell her. Kong Zan also knew that Xizi would be unhappy, so he winked at Xizi beside him. Seko walked to Kong Zan silently. Kong Zan's hand held hers, that's all. Seko felt a little warmer and didn't think so much anymore. Having said that, Xizi is still very sensible. Dash, in the head of the house's office. What? Sire actually dot killed someone? Someone who has a grudge against their team members? Is that Sire's kindergarten classmate? Dakagi Suichiro was receiving a large volume report, and his heart was shocked again and again. Is this still my daughter? It seems that Sire has become obsessed with that boss. In order to protect him, he did not hesitate to kill his classmates. That guy is so strong, he doesn't need to be protected at all, right? There was another deceased person. If there is indeed a grudge against their team members, then it is indeed difficult to let those outside in. Otherwise, Accidents will inevitably occur. Sire Dot has really changed. Dakagi Suichiro looked out the window. The heavy rain still did not stop. After thinking for a moment, he issued the order. Do as Sire said and expel those people outside the gate. After all, we are already in short supply of food stocks. If we have another group of useless people, we really won't have enough to eat. Have those corpses been disposed of? Dakagi Suichiro looked at him seriously. The manager in front of him spoke. Yes, everything is being processed. The manager nodded seriously. That's good. Okay, just go and deal with those people. Dakagi Suichiro waved his hand, indicating that he could deal with it. Okay. The man also walked out. Then, Dakagi Suichiro stood up and walked to the window. His eyes were a little heavy, as if he was thinking about something. It was raining heavily outside. If only this heavy rain could really wash everything away, he murmured. What is your dot purpose? Dash. Kong Zan played a few games of poker with them, finally got tired of it. I spent one point to buy a box of novels and comics. Such things are very cheap in the system mall. The girls had become accustomed to the sudden appearance of a box of things. Just let Kong Zan do the magic. You have to take it yourself, Kong Zan said. I took out the One Piece comic book and started reading it. It's said that he hasn't read comics for a long time, 
and he had been watching anime before traveling through time. I also planned to read the comics after reviewing all the old ones. The result was that I didn't even have time to see it. Let me go, this Bucky can really become the Four Emperors. He looked at it. Kong Zan started to complain. Although some people have always speculated that Bucky the Clown could rely on luck to get into the Four Emperors or even the Pirate King, but it is too outrageous. But we still have to rely on Crocodile and Mehook, otherwise, how could Bucky be so good at it? Dot. Didn't Garp just hit the island with one punch when he arrived? But he was so weak in the end. His backhand was hit by a green pheasant knife. What the hell is the plot? And how did he become this deserter king? His home court? Kong Zan's eyes twitched. This reaction made his scalp tingle. Reading this comic made him feel very irritated. But it was still 20 years away from that time. It's still early. I don't even know when I will enter the main storyline. The time soon came to evening or afternoon. A group of women stayed in their rooms. Goodbye. It doesn't feel like an otaku anymore. Back then, I had always been alone in the room chasing after people. Suddenly there were so many people, which was really weird. By the way, I'm going to sleep. Do you want to sleep here too? Kong Zan looked at the girls and asked. Is it okay, boss? Shay looked expectant. Goodbye. Did this guy have any strange attributes enabled by him? Ever since she admitted that she liked herself, it seems very obvious. What do you think, Zezi? Kong Zan looked at Xi Easy and asked. The words seemed to be ordinary. But in fact, I wanted to ask Seko for his opinion. After all, she is a girlfriend in name only. I, no problem. Seko paused, looking at the expectant expressions in the eyes of the girls, and didn't want to spoil their interest. Besides, they had slept together before, so didn't Kong Zan do nothing? Therefore, she still trusts Kong Zan in this regard. As the saying goes, Buzu Shima Seko is considerate. Okay, let's do this. You geese make the floor yourself and get a few extra mattresses so you don't freeze at night. Seeing that Xizu had no objection. Kong Zan began to divide the work, and it's a heartwarming reminder. Kong Zan himself went to wash up. Dot after returning to the room, they even put on pajamas. Good guy. Kong Zan said that he was a good guy. You guys are pretty quick. Each and every one of them looks like a delicate flower in full bloom, ready for you to adopt. I really can't stand it. Kong Zan glanced over the girls, and finally saw Alice, whose shoulders were exposed because her clothes were too big. He slapped himself twice, then lay down on the bed and let it go. Birth. Kong Zan. Kong Zan, why do you have thoughts about a child? Start brainwashing! Exclamation mark. Buddha said, emptiness is form, form is emptiness. Buddha said, after a hundred years, there will be nothing more than bones. The Buddha also said, people call it Dudan, and the Buddha calls it Huajian. Penetrating into the bone marrow, you will die without regrets. Dot. Chapter 57 A large wave of zombies is about to attack late at night. Seko climbed onto Kong Zan's bed. Dot Kong Zan, who felt the breath opened his eyes. Although the surroundings were dark, the moonlight outside the window shone on Seko's face, and Seko's cheeks could be seen very clearly. S-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-
as if she had dreamed of eating something delicious. His face was red. I quickly went to wash up. Kong Zan also got up immediately after. The two of them played in a strange rhythm. Two people came back after washing up. Kong Zan started reading comics, and Xi Easy started cooking again. But this hasn't started yet. A burst of bright light came from outside the window. What's going on? Lee became confused. Seeing this bright light, Saya had a bad premonition in her heart. She quickly looked at Shizuka and asked, Teacher Shizuka, do you have your mobile phone with you? Huh? The mobile phone is here. What's wrong? Shizuka took out her phone from her body, a little confused. Can you try and see if the phone still works? Shay said again. And Shizuka also tried it quickly. Hey, the phone doesn't work. Is it broken? Shizuka looked at her phone with a black screen feeling a little sad. EMP attack. It can also be called a high-altitude nuclear explosion. If a nuclear warhead explodes in the upper atmosphere, gamma rays will cause atmospheric molecules to scatter electrons, triggering the Compton effect. The scattered electrons will be absorbed by the Earth's magnetic field it attracts and produces a wide area radiated electromagnetic pulse, the effect of which is fatal to electronic instruments. Electromagnetic pulses will burn out integrated circuits through things that act as antennas. Shea started to popularize science, as a genius. She naturally also know this knowledge. That is to say, we now. Before Seko could finish speaking, Sire said in a positive tone again. That's right, we can't use electronic equipment. Ah then the mobile phone can't be used anymore? Re said somewhat lost. But I don't particularly care. Not only mobile phones, but also computers, and cars with computer devices cannot be driven. Shea said. You must know that in modern society, some people can't even survive without these things. You you are. Shizuka cried directly holding her mobile phone. Be good. Alice comforted Shizuka like an adult at this time, which was very cute. The power plant should be destroyed. EMP countermeasures are another matter, but there should only be a small number of government agencies. Sire began to think. But Kong Zan walked to the window and murmured, Are you here? Then he quickly turned his head. Don't worry about this for now. Be prepared. Next. There will be a large wave of zombies coming. Kong Zan looked at the girls and said seriously, What? A big wave, boss. How do you know? Dot. That's it. The girls, who were supposed to be on vacation, are about to start having sex again. Anyway, hurry up and change your clothes. I don't have time to talk to you so much. Kong Zan finished. It's already being prepared, because his clothes have never been changed into pajamas. They have always been casual clothes. Then Kong Zan bought a gift package of military weapons. Place a box directly on the ground. There are body armor, bulletproof heads, various firearms, and grenades inside. Get ready, we are about to set off. They won't be able to stop them for long. Oh, by the way, I won't take action this time. Sire will direct the whole process, I guess. There are only a few hundred zombies left. Sire, Rei, Shizuka, Seko, Shinobu, Alice, although you are still young. You have drank the genetic enhancement potion and have no problem dealing with zombies, so you also want to participate. Six of you, each of you will kill at least dozens of zombies. Okay, I'll wait for you at the door. Kong Zan looked at the crowd and spoke directly, with a serious look on his face. Then he turned around and left. Dash, Kong Zan crossed his arms, watching the zombies attacking not far from the gate. There are quite a few. Kong Zan murmured, Hey, boy, you take sire and leave first. Dakagi Suichiro also looked outside very seriously. He knows such a quantity is not something they can handle. I said, are you underestimating Sire and the others? Kong Zan glanced at Soichiro Dakagi slightly, and then spoke naturally. Young man, this is no joke. With so many zombies, you could end up in hell if you're not careful. Do you feel confident? Soichiro Dakagi glanced at Kong Zan and spoke in a very strong tone. Of course, 1000% sure. Kong Zan grinned. Just some zombies, nothing to be afraid of. Dakagi Soichiro's eyes widened, a little stunned. But then he recovered. Just wanted to say something. Sire and the others have come fully armed. Dad, leave these guys to us. Shay said directly. He also had a gatling in his hand. She was fully armed and put on the black finger tiger gloves that Kong Zan gave her. Uncle, don't worry. As long as we are here, everything will be fine. Lee also nodded seriously. Your equipment. Where did it come from? Dakagi Soichiro was a little confused. Even he didn't have these professional military equipment but his daughter and some children did. You don't have to worry about this. Don't know too much, Kong Zan said, making a zipper gesture on his mouth. He signaled Soichiro Dakagi not to ask too many questions. Dash. Chapter 58, All Armed. But at this time, Soichiro Dakagi saw Alice, who looked only eight or nine years old. Hey, you let such a young child participate in the war? Soichiro Dakagi frowned and asked. But before Kong Zan could speak, Alice spoke first. Uncle, don't worry. Alice wants to help. Alice's A's were firm at this moment and she spoke without hesitation. But Dakagi Suichiro wanted to speak, 
but the zombies had already arrived in front of the iron gate and were almost unstoppable. I don't have time to talk to you, Shay. Take them with you. Don't let them think that you are looking down on you because you are girls. Go and eliminate all the zombies, Kong Zan ordered immediately. He said, turning aside Soichiro Takagi. What I mean is don't let this guy look down on you. And they rushed forward without saying a word. Throw the Molotov cocktail first, Shay said. Everyone took out Molotov cocktails from their bodies. Lit directly. Shwa, shwa, dot. Without saying a word, they were thrown into the middle of the zombie group one by one. It was estimated to be several hundred meters away. In fact, Sire had already thought of a plan within a few minutes. What? Everyone can throw it to such a long distance. Even that little girl is not bad. This kind of power just started. Dakagi Suichiro was already surprised. After all, normal people would normally throw this kind of thing 30 meters away, but they threw it hundreds of meters away. Their zombies in the middle have begun to burn. Alice holds two pistols. The rest were armed with machine guns. Seko and Shinobu are armed with light machine guns. They will kill the tail of the zombie group and attack from behind. Shizuka and Ra held heavy machine guns and attacked from a frontal position. Sayina's Gatlin pressed the line from the side. All zombies that pass the gate will pop out. Alice deals with the zombies that run in. TSK. There are still a lot of zombies. Even Gatlin can't hold them down. Shay took out the grenade, bit open the safety cover with his little tiger teeth and threw it out with a swish. Boom. A bunch of zombies were killed at once. The crimping effect is excellent. Seko and Shinobu had already rushed to the back, so there was no need to worry about being bombed. These zombies in front are just rushing towards death. This is a powerful arms showdown. The battle even attracted many survivors from the mansion. Why do these guys have such terrifying weapons? That's right. Why can that kid who looks eight or nine years old have a gun? And maybe those people can be saved. Kill them so cruelly? This is killing. All you are killing is life. You should give guns and other things to adults. These guys are simply crazy. Killing these people who can still be saved indiscriminately. Dot. The survivors next to them constantly babbling. Kong Zan was a little annoyed. He instantly took out a desert eagle in his hand and pointed it directly at everyone. If you keep arguing, the labor and management will kill you all. A bunch of trash. His male gobi, the labor and management are not as kind as your gotching family master, and they have raised a bunch of cowards. I won't go out to find food. Just eat here and wait. Die and speak for the zombies. If you don't kill him, they will kill you. Let me understand the reality. This is the end of the world. Don't say that labor and management gave you a gun and gave you a rocket launcher. Do you understand the game? It's a bunch of garbage people. It doesn't matter how much they excrement and urine, but they also talk so much nonsense. The labor and management really want to kill you all who are holding us back. Humanity has become like this because of you cowards. I finally found out. It's not just you people who have brain problems. He also has a problem with paralyzing the government. It's so slow to control such a small thing. Their zombies were solved long ago with military special police. They have to use them now. Nuclear bomb. A bunch of stupid things. Dot. Kong Zan was so angry that he cursed directly at these bastards. These were the things he wanted to say when he read the original work. How come there are so many people who are descending from wisdom? It's like he's mentally ill. There were so many idiots with low IQs and he doubted whether the government leaders were also morons. Their zombie crisis is not a big deal in the first place. The problem is that it is not controlled well, and that is a big deal. Moreover, these zombies are the lowest level zombies, and there are no other mutant zombies. If the Corpse King Dragon comes to this world, I would like to see how these idiots die. Those missiles, laser cannons, and grenades can't kill you. They can probably destroy the world here. Under Kong Zan's angry scolding, these bastards finally shut up. After all, labor and management are also domineering men and they will knock them all down if they don't shut up. And in front, almost half of the zombies were killed. Seko and Shinobu were killing each other with great pleasure, especially Seko. She was very excited. I really like the thrill of crushing my opponent with strength. It's simply addictive. Shinobi, on the other hand, is very bland. Just be more sensible in this regard. I don't feel as crazy as Seko. Both of them were holding a knife in one hand and a gun in the other. It's totally fine. Can handle it, and more than enough. After all, as long as you have the power, what can't you control? The heavy machine guns in Ren Shizuka's hands never stopped. It kept going chunk, tug, tug. Although it was the first time to use this, I had read the instructions before coming here. It is a military weapons gift package with instructions for using each gun. Just look at it for a while. Not so many bells and whistles. Every time Sire presses the line, he directly throws a thunder. She herself felt a lot better. Three thunders struck at every turn. Three consecutive clicks. Boom, boom, boom. The three loud sounds almost overlapped. Cool. But in the eyes of this group of survivors, they are just like madmen. Even Alice is no exception. Alice's twin guns are also very good, and their accuracy is excellent. And the farther to the back, the more accurate the shot. The progress in marksmanship is visible to the naked eye. Gunshots to the head. This is talent. Even Soichiro Dakagi next to him was amazed. At this time, Yuriko Goching also came down with a submachine gun. But after arriving, 
I found that nothing happened without her. Come on sire, sire is so awesome. Looking at sire holding Gatling, Dakagi Yuriko shouted from behind and turned into a cheerleader. My daughter is so cool! Exclamation mark. Have my style. Dakagi Yuriko became narcissistic. Only half an hour passed. Under the constant output of the girls, there were finally very few zombies left. Lee took out the long gun, the 100 kilogram long gun Kong Zan gave her before. It's really useful in her hands. With just a flick, the zombies' brains can explode. To her, it's like a magic weapon. But compared with a real magic weapon, it is still far behind. Shizuka wore white gloves and held a long sword. Saya wore black finger tiger gloves. The three of them also started a close fight. It's time to start clearing the battlefield. Shizuka was considered the most unfamiliar. After killing a zombie, she looked at its corpse and felt a little dazed. At this time, another zombie rushed out from behind. When he was about to catch her, boom, she punched the zombie directly in the face. The terrifying force shattered its skull and destroyed its brain instantly. Blood splashed on Sire's face. Why are you so dazed? Shay scolded him angrily. Sorry dot that's just my personality, Shizuka said helplessly. He quickly continued to concentrate. Because of her naturally dull personality, she is indeed prone to danger on the battlefield, and Sire and Ra also look at Shizuka more. But if Shizuka concentrates, she is also very powerful. With one strike of the sword, the zombie's head fell to the ground. I saw the corpses of various zombies at my feet piled up on the road. Now they can only step on the corpses and fight the remaining zombies. Just like what Kong Zan said before. They want to eliminate all the zombies! Exclamation mark. Leave no one behind! Exclamation mark. Dash. Chapter 59 The battle is over bloodstains, gunpowder smoke, dust and flames. Swept everything in front of the gate of Goching's house. Hundreds of zombies fell to the ground, almost none of them intact. Broken hands and legs. Either the head is missing or it is torn apart. It's over. Shinobu and Seko stood on top of the mountains of corpses, covered in blood. It was like being showered with blood. Seko's face was flushed, and her sword was in tatters due to the zombies. Killing zombies for a long time will cause the blade to become uneven. And if you endure it, not so excited. Because he was armed with Haki, the blade was not damaged much. Compared to Seko, it's much plainer. Sister Seko, let's go. Shinobu looked at Seko. It feels a little weird, but I can't put my finger on it. Okay, Seko followed Shinobu. And just like that, the two women walked towards the Dakagi family's mansion, stepping on corpses one after another. It's Seko Senpai and Shinobu Chan. They smiled when she saw the two of them waving. How are you? You're not hurt? She asked the two of them worriedly. After all, there are only two of them fighting among the corpses, which is indeed very risky. But only the two of them have the best melee combat skills. Although Rez not bad, she is obviously not as good as Seko and Shinobu. It's okay. Shinobu shook his head. I'm fine. I just lost the gun, Seko said. Only then did he realize that the light machine gun in his hand had disappeared. It looked like he had his head chopped off. From now on, I will just use Tai Dao directly. It's okay, She breathed out relaxedly. After all, the battle just now was really tense. Being able to remain unharmed in this situation also shows that the strength of the two women is also top-notch among the women. As the saying goes, if you walk among thousands of flowers, not a single leaf will touch you. This strength is evident. However, blood stains were still sprinkled on their bodies. After all, they were fighting zombies. If they wanted to avoid blood stains on their bodies, they would probably have to have the strength of a higher level being. But in this world, they are already the best. You guys go take a shower first. It will be difficult to wash off once the blood has dried. Kong Zan walked forward. He spoke to the girls. Okay, boss. She nodded. The pink ponytail swayed. Thank you for your hard work. Zazi, there's still a lot of food in my bedroom. After you take a shower, you can go eat together. Kong Zan looked at Xiang Tse. Okay, let's take a shower first. Sek also recovered a lot from the previous state, and then nodded. All the girls rushed to the bathroom. Then, Kong Zan looked at the survivors. Okay, the zombies have been killed. You go and clean up. You don't need to leave the elderly and children alone. Leave the rest to me to clean up. Kong Zan looked at the group of survivors intently. Point the desert eagle at them. There was a faint hint of domineering domineering on his body. But just this hint of domineering made them feel fear from the bottom of their hearts. Fear emerged from them. Immediately afterwards, a few people took the lead and went over to clean it up. One by one they followed gradually. Go faster and faster. I was afraid that I would go too slowly, but the gun shot me down. This scene. Gao Cheng and his wife had long been stunned. Violent management. But logically speaking, these survivors should resist, but didn't expect them to be so obedient. Kong Zan turned around slightly, walked between the two of them and patted the couple on their shoulders. Now is the end of the world. We don't have time to give meaningless speeches. It's better to get rid of the pests that are disobedient or threatening. Head of the Goching family, don't be so merciful as to make useless speeches. It's really not possible. If so, you can leave this piece to Shi, and I will assist her. Just retire. This is my last advice to you. Kong Zan finished very calmly. Then he walked towards the mansion. He's such a direct person. If it's no longer useful, 
get rid of it. If it's useful, keep it. Very simple reason. Dakagi Suichiro and Dakagi Yuriko became a little sluggish. Dot. This guy is simply not human. It's much scarier than humans. After a long silence, Dakagi Suichiro opened his mouth and said, But that's right. Only those who were trained by monsters can fight against these monsters. Yuriko Dakagi looked at the zombies on the ground. The shock in her heart still did not disappear, and the scene just now appeared in her mind. There were only six people, but they easily slaughtered the zombies. Yuriko. Should I abdicate? Maybe it would be better for me to give my position to Sire. Dakagi Soichiro's eyes were deep and he seemed to be thinking about something. Well, if you think so, let Sire try it first. If you can succeed, let's take care of ourselves. Yuriko Dakagi smiled at her, but she didn't object. After all, she is her daughter. It is also a good result that the fertilizer does not flow to outsiders. Retirement life. It would be great if it goes so well. Yuriko Dakagi looked at the hazy sky. It seems to be gradually spreading out. A beam of light scattered from the clouds. Dash, Kongzan walked into the room. Because the floor is covered with beds, you have to take off your shoes and socks at the door. He stepped onto the bed on the ground with his bare feet, then walked to his bed and lay down on the bed. Ha. Huh. It's really troublesome. I used Overlord color to avoid stunning them, but if I use it too little, it won't have any effect. The useless survivors will be killed immediately. One has just entered the apocalypse. It's been less than a week, so I probably haven't gotten used to it yet. It's because I have too little knowledge of the current world. Kong Zan muttered to himself. Then he shook his head. I don't want to worry about so much. Turning around slightly, he picked up a comic from the bedside box and started reading. Reincarnation without a job? This thing is quite new. Kong Zan looked at the comic book in his hand, still very interested. Then I started to read page after page. Dot I don't know how long it took. Seko and the others had just finished taking a shower and entered the room. Zazie, get something to eat. It's time to go. Kong Zan looked at her and said, leave. Xizi was a little confused. And all the girls also looked at Kong Zan. Especially the butterfly ninja. They don't understand. The mission has not been completed yet. How to proceed, boss? Do you still want to leave? Sire murmured. Where are you going, boss? Can you take me with you? Jingxiang asked curiously, thinking that Kong Zan was just going out normally. Yes, boss. Where are you going? Li Yi asked curiously. Alice is going too. Alice can help. Alice said seriously. No, we have to leave. Zazi and I are leaving together. Shinobu has stayed in this world for long enough, so it's almost time to leave. Kong Zan explained. This world? Li didn't understand Kong Zan's words even more. Yes. We came from another world to help Sister Seko. But we also have a mission. But, Brother Kongzin, isn't the mission not completed yet? Shinobu asked with some confusion. No, as long as I take Seko away, the zombie crisis here will no longer threaten her, and then Seko's crisis can be regarded as relieved. This task will naturally be completed. After all, if all the zombies are killed, it would be too much trouble. Kongzan explained to Ren. Besides, he can't be here forever. And even if he could go back, he wouldn't be able to travel frequently. Being seen when traveling through time is also very troublesome. Mission. Help Seko Senpai. Rez a little confused. But I understood it more or less. Another world? Even Shizuka was surprised. Does such a thing really exist? Alas. Have you not seen Big Brother for a long time? Alice said a little disappointed. Dash. Chapter 60 The future is promising. Farewell. In short. The captain here is temporarily handed over to Shi. Kong Zan's serious gaze moved to Shi. Is it okay, sire? He asked. No problem. She nodded. After all, Kong Zan had talked to her before. It was just too sudden. I didn't expect it to happen so soon. Sire was a little disappointed at this moment. My heart is even more reluctant to give up. I've got a mission for you. Later, after you stabilize here, go find your family members. Kong Zan looked at them. I understand. Dot boss. She nodded seriously. After all. It was a mission issued by Kong Zan. Boss. When will you come back next time? Li also had a lot of reluctance in her eyes. It will take some time. Kong Zan himself didn't know how much time it would take. It shouldn't take too long. After all, the coordinates are set. Everything that needs to be explained now must be explained. Kong Zan stood up, walked up to Shay, and whispered in her ear, Isn't there that group? Remember to tell me if you have anything. Kong Zan said softly. Shay's eyes suddenly lit up. Yes, isn't there a group chat? In that case, it would be equivalent to the boss being there all the time. Also. I still hope you can become a leader and build a survivor base, Kong Zan said again. Then he took back his body. The appearance of the two aroused Lee's curiosity. Okay, okay, I've said everything that needs to be said. I won't tell you any more. Kong Zan smiled slightly and looked at CZ. Let's go. Seko nodded with a smile on his face. Next time I come, you must tell your father that you have a boyfriend. She thought to herself, it's just that Seko's father is abroad. So there's nothing we can do about it because it's too far away. We can only hope to have the chance to go the next time. The two disappeared in an instant. Then I'm leaving too. Goodbye, everyone. Shinobu waved. Sister Shinobu. Alice said reluctantly. Watched a few people leave. Her tears seemed to come out again. Alice, be strong. Shinobu smiled lightly. This is the usual serious and serious Shinobu. 
a rare smile. Although Shinobi was smiling in the blade of the first pillar, that was under the premise that her sister Butterfly Kani died and she would inherit her sister's will. Now she was going back to see her sister, and she was in a good mood. She just happened to see Alice's pitiful look, and she comforted Alice. But just this sentence was of great help to Alice. Yes, don't worry, Sister Ren. Alice will be strong. Next time you come, I will definitely help you. Alice looked serious and wiped her tears with her little hand. Then, she smiled too. Then, Shinobu also disappeared. Dash. Kongzan and Xi Easy return to the bedroom on the ship. Right. It's an empty bedroom. I just arrived in a strange place, and I was alone with Kongzan. I don't know why, but Seiko's heart became a little restless. He took the initiative to hold Kongzan's hand. Kongzan. This is. Xiang Tsai looked around curiously. This is my ship. This is the bedroom. I might as well tell you in advance that we are pirates now. Is this identity acceptable? Kongzan looked into Seiko's eyes and asked directly. There's nothing unacceptable. It's just a pirate. So what's the big deal? Seko shook his head. When he walked in front of Kong Zan, he also pulled up with his other hand. The two eyes also looked at each other. You are my future husband. I know this, and that's enough. Seko's eyes were very affectionate. It was as if he was running towards him regardless of the situation. Kong Zan leaned against Xi Easy's ear. Is it okay, Zezi? This is my territory, no matter what happens. So, is it okay? He said softly, his tone full of tenderness. But there's also a hint of teasing. You can do whatever you want. Seko didn't refuse. Instead, he took the initiative to kiss her. Ah, uh, Kongzan was slightly shocked. Unexpectedly, after a little provocation, Seko would take the initiative. But there is still business to do now. Let's put these things aside for tonight. Kongzan gently grabbed Seko's shoulders and pushed him away. He looked at her teasingly, scratched her jade-like nose, and said, Don't be so anxious yet, we still have things to do. Ah, I understand. Seko's face turned red. Yes. But it can be seen from his eyes that he is a little disappointed. Kong Zan put his hand on her head and rubbed it, then kissed her on the face. This move actually made Seiko happy. He took her hand and pushed open the bedroom door. Just like that, he took her to the deck. Ahem, everyone, I'm back. Kong Zan shouted slightly. Everyone who was originally busy also gathered together. Brother Kong Zin, you're back. Brother Kong Zin, who is she? What a beautiful sister. She seems to disappear into thin air every time she leaves. Dot. Just like that. She one sentence, one sentence from you, a little noisy. Most of them were girls brought back by Kong Zan out of curiosity, and some of them had some complaints, because Kong Zan really disappeared out of thin air. As for the reason why Mikasa helped Kong Zan speak, no one asked. Ahem. Kong Zan coughed slightly, signaling for silence. Soon everyone shut up. She is my girlfriend, her name is Buzujima Seko. Everyone can just call her Seko. Kong Zan said happily. Wow, brother Kong Zan's girlfriend. Yamato's eyes widened. He had never seen Kong Zan say he had a girlfriend all the way here. But her character has always been so neurotic, so she didn't think there was anything wrong with it. Oh. Did you actually bring your girlfriend? Yuri also looked at Seko with joy. She didn't really care, although she liked Kong Zan quite a lot. But to her, it's nothing for a man to have three wives and four concubines. And besides, she hasn't grown up yet. Big brother apostrophe s dot girlfriend. She must be a very powerful girl. Right? Imagine it looked curious. Allah, what a surprise. Li Shi was slightly surprised. But he was thinking secretly in his heart. I didn't expect this guy to have a girlfriend. And you do this kind of thing to yourself. Dot, although I am quite proactive. Ugh. That was the first time that I was so excited and interested in such a thing. After all, when it comes to eating human males, they've seen too much of that kind of thing. It's nothing new. But this is the first time for a man to do that kind of thing. Woohoo. It turned out to be someone with a girlfriend. Li Shi expressed that he was a little unhappy. But Kong Zan can really make himself feel good. Forget it. Anyway, she definitely can't handle it alone. After all, I'm not very good as a ghoul. TCH. Boring. Aria felt a strange sourness in her heart. Suddenly, he remembered that not long ago, Kong Zan pulled him into the room, his cheeks were very close, and he told his story. The thought of that cheek that was just around the corner made her breathless with excitement. Recently, I often think about that face to make myself happy. But she turned around and said that he had a girlfriend. How could she feel better inside? It's simply uncomfortable. Dash. Chapter 61 The Long Journey The one who expressed the most resentment was Mikasa. After all, everyone knows secretly that Mikasa has a unique feeling for Kong Zan. At this moment, Mikasa lowered her head, and resentment seemed to take shape around her, spreading around her which was very scary. That dot three. Yamato was about to say something. He was directly glared at by Mikasa. That look that seemed to be murderous sent a shiver down Yamato's back. And Kong Zan also noticed Mikasa. So he whispered to Seko, you go for a walk first. Get familiar with me. I have something to do. I understand. Seko nodded slightly. When Kong Zan left Seko, Makino and Hiari both walked towards Seko. After all, 
They were all very curious about the identity of Kong Zan's girlfriend, Sister Seko. Are you chasing Brother Kong Zan or Brother Kong Zan is chasing you? Xiao Hiwa started gossiping as soon as she came up. Ah. This. Seko looked shy. In his mind, he kept reminiscing about the time when Kong Zan accepted her. It seems a little hard to say. Oh, Yeri, why are you asking such a strange question? Sister Seko, let's go. Let's show you this ship. Majinet looked at the awkward atmosphere and tried to smooth things over. He took the two of them and walked into the cabin. Then the two took the initiative to take Seko to visit the entire ship. Dot when Mikasa saw Kong Zan walking towards her, she immediately retracted her resentful look. Xiao Mikasa, are you angry? Kong Zan leaned down and touched her black hair. No. No, in front of Kong Zan, she looked like an immature girl. But it was still easy to tell that she was a little sulky. Her face was red. She turned her head and puffed her mouth. Sorry, I've been away for a long time. I'm sorry to trouble you during this time. Kong Zan chuckled and looked at her. It's okay, even though he said so. But that expression obviously meant come and coax me. Mikasa, Kong Zan suddenly shouted. Ah dot there. Mikasa was startled by the sudden sound. The whole body was shocked. The next second, Mikasa felt something warm on her cheek. Take a closer look. Kong Zan actually kissed him. Kong, brother Kong Zan. Mikasa's cheeks suddenly turned red. Kong Zan put his cheek against hers, feeling her body temperature. Then, he moved gently to her ear and spoke softly. Don't be angry, my favorite family. Little Mikasa. Kong Zan spoke with a warm breath, which made Mikasa's ears itchy. Well, brother Kong Zan. Well, we have always been family, right? Mikasa did not dare to look into Kong Zan's eyes, lowered her head and spoke in a low voice. But Kong Zan could hear it. Of course. Always, forever, Mikasa. No matter how many times you ask this question, there is only one answer. Kong Zan raised his body and looked at the sea in the dusk. Sunset. Mikasa also followed Kong Zan's gaze and looked away. Under the light of the sea, the scorching sun seems to be more than just in the sky. Perhaps just like gods, they don't only exist in the distance. Maybe it's right now. Little Mikasa. Yes. We want to be. A family forever. Through his eyes, you might be able to see that he seemed to be recalling something in his heart. Under the setting sun, orange sunlight appeared on his cheeks. He rarely showed a sad and heavy expression, an expression Mikasa had never seen before. Become a god? As long as I don't die too quickly, that's enough. I don't know. Can the system really make me the only god? Kong Zan said in a way that only he would listen to. The arriving voice murmured, nothing in the world remains unchanged. Although the road to becoming a god is the road to eternal life and becoming stronger, it is nothing more than the road to losing one's soul and body to the world. In the past, he has read a novel. The male protagonist became a god, possessing supreme power. But after reading thousands of chapters, he understood that the death of human beings is reincarnation, and the death of gods is annihilation. As long as you embark on the road to becoming a god, in addition to becoming the only existence, you can only disappear and cease to exist. After truly becoming a god, he did feel that this kind of pressure did exist, and he had to become stronger. He also wanted to stay with Mikasa. But, can he really be the one? Dot. Kong Zan was unconsciously immersed in his own thoughts. He didn't notice that Mikasa next to him was calling him. Brother Kong Zan. Dot. Brother Kong Zan. I don't know how many times it was before Kong Zan's slightly hollow eyes came back to reality. Ah, Mikasa, what's wrong? After Kong Zan reacted, he immediately looked at Mikasa. Well. Dot. Robin asked us to go to dinner. Mikasa started to explain. His eyes looked at Robin, who was waving to them not far away. Kong Zan also looked over. Robin, I asked why I didn't see her just now. Did she cook today? Kong Zan showed an icy expression. Let's go, Mikasa. Kong Zan didn't think much. The two of them just walked over. Dash, evening. Kong Zan returned to the bedroom. Just started the group chat system. I found out that my 10,000 points had arrived. There are also tasks issued by the main system, completing another level. The main system prompt sounded from Kong Zan's mind. Ding. Complete the mission to find the crew five-tenths. Get the reward. No side effects the full power of One Punch Man sight armor. Kong Zan raised his eyebrows slightly. One Punch Man? The power of physical sanctification! Exclamation mark. It's very good. Although the original body is strong enough, but coupled with Saitama's strength, he is almost invincible physically. Then Kong Zan looked at his points again. I can finally upgrade my low-level destruction rules. Today is really a double happiness. Kong Zan gave a slight sigh of relief. He upgraded without hesitation. The 10,000 points he had just received disappeared instantly. More powerful power filled his body. It was countless times more powerful than the previous law-breaking power. It covered his body, and this terrifying power radiated out. Just by leaking some breath, the surrounding items were disappearing, decomposing, and destroyed bit by bit. Not only the destruction at the macro level, but also the destruction of its molecules, atoms, quarks and even neutrinos can be destroyed by it. Kong Zan quickly controlled this destructive force. Ha! Huh took a shallow breath. What a terrifying law of destruction, this is just low level. Dot. Now it feels like, even this universe can be easily destroyed. The law. 
What a terrifying power this is, Kong Zan said to himself. His eyes were full of surprise. He didn't know how terrifying the gods with the power of advanced laws are, and the gods who can create such a system. What level are they creating this system? What is the purpose of this person? He pondered. Dot, but it was just thinking. How could he get the thoughts of that god, that incomparably majestic god? Dot, this will be a long journey to becoming a god. The journey, in the future, may be death, life, or becoming the only one. No one can know it, and no god can spy on it. Everything may be the game of that god lord, or it may be the birth of a new god lord. Dash. Chapter 62 Group Chat Newcomers Early Morning Sunlight shines into the empty bedroom. He was alone on the bed. That's right. Because both Seko and Rise were abducted by Mikasa and the others to the girls' bedroom. Goodbye. It's really lonely and cold to sleep alone. Kong Zan put his hands on the back of his head and rested his palms on the white pillow. He looked out the window lazily. The sky is so blue and the clouds are so white. The weather is so good today. Aha. Kong Zan yawned. Closed his eyes. I looked at the chat group. There were actually not many people inside. They were still the same people as before. Just bring in some more people, Kong Zan thought. Start chatting privately with the assistant in the chat group. Kong Zan, can you bring in more people? Chat group assistant, how many people need to be recruited? Kong Zan, three, just random. Chat group assistant, okay. Dot group chat. Ding welcome is Yumi Shinichi to join the group chat. Ding welcome no Fumi Iwatani to join the group chat. Ding welcome Meno Shiho to join the group chat. Kanki Ken, wow, finally a newcomer. Is Yumi Shinichi. What is this? Suddenly it appeared in my head. Group chat. Is Yumi Shinichi? What the hell? When did something strange get implanted in my head? Kong Zan raised his eyebrows slightly. Shinichi is Yumi is the protagonist in Parasite. No Fumi Iwatani is the protagonist of the Rising of the Shield hero. Mano Shiho, also known as Heibaru AI, is an important character in the well-known Death of Death. Sure enough, those who are invited to the group must be these more conspicuous guys. After all, the chat group would not invite a passerby out of nowhere, it would be meaningless. Kanki Ken. Ahem. Newcomer, I know you are nervous, but please listen to me first. In fact, this is not a big deal, but it is not a trivial matter either. You don't need to be nervous about this, you are just lucky. Dot butterfly ninja, you have to talk about the key points, otherwise I'll tell you for you, there's so much nonsense. Because the typing here is on the same frequency, as long as a word comes to mind, it will be sent directly. However, Khan Ki Ken has not finished typing for a long time and keeps talking nonsense. The butterfly ninja is speechless. Khan Ki Ken, ah, Khan Ki Ken. In short, this is a group chat that gathers people from all over the world. Newbie, welcome. Kong Zan, it may be a bit inaccurate to say people from all kinds of worlds. Kong Zan, after all, there is a little fox demon in the group. Seeing these words, Tushan Hong Hong, who was diving, felt cold. Wasn't he the one he was talking about? How could he know that he had been seen through by that man? Kan Ki Ken? Question mark. Kan Ki Ken colon fox demon? Question mark. I do not know how. Boss, who is that? Kong Zan. She came out as soon as she wanted to. Let's take a look at the newcomers first. Kong Zan doesn't want to expose to Shine Hong Hong, so if she wants to dive, just let her dive. Is Yumi Shinichi? What the hell? Fox Demon? So, you are people from different worlds? Exclamation mark. Is Yumi Shinichi was very confused. After all, this kind of thing was so outrageous that calling 110 would not work. If he spoke out, he might even be taken to a mental hospital. Kan Ki Ken, that's right. Is Yumi Shinichi? It's too outrageous. But in this case, I have to believe it even if I don't believe it. Izumi Shinichi pondered, after all, this kind of thing is indeed rare. No, I've never seen it before. Isn't it really a plot about aliens invading the brain? The chat group of all heavens is really weird. Looking at the name of the chat group, Izumi Shinichi was even more curious. Butterfly Ninja, it seems that newcomers adapt very quickly. Kanki Ken, speaking of newcomers at Izumi Shinichi, what kind of world is yours? Izumi Shinichi, what world? It's just normal. In peaceful times. What else can I say? Seeing this. Kong Zan raised his eyebrows slightly. It seemed that the plot of the parasitic beast hadn't begun yet. I what an inofumi. All heavens chat group. What's the use of this? Can you make me stronger? At this moment, I what an inofumi gritted his teeth. He was the shield hero. He had just been summoned to another world, but because he was a shield, he was treated seriously differently. The next day, he was betrayed. The other brave men had many followers. As his only follower, May Ian, I what an inofumi trusted her very much and always regarded her as a partner. Unexpectedly, May Ayin actually betrayed him. She was an undercover agent from the beginning and stole all his equipment. He also claimed that he raped her. As you can imagine, the shield hero no Fumi Iwatani has become a sinner accused by money. Just walking on the street, everyone would avoid him. It was also this incident that caused him to go dark for a time. Kong Zan, yes, as long as you sign in every day, you can get points. Once you have enough points, you can redeem them from the points mall. No Fumi Iwatani, is that so? I just signed in and it's only 10 points. It's too slow. Kong Zan. When a group member encounters danger, a task will be issued. If it is within your ability, 
You can do it. No Fumi Iwatani, I see. Kong Zan, you want to become stronger, right? How about we make a deal? After pondering, Kong Zan still spoke. Iwatani no Fumi colon trade? Kong Zan, that's right. Go to the slave dealer during this time to help me find a girl of a demi-human raccoon species. Her name is Raftalia. Kong Zan, I will give you a tube of gene enhancement potion which can improve all your basic attributes. I what an inofumi colon what? Is there such a good thing? I what an inofumi, but dot how do you know that this person exists in our world? Can Ki Ken, the boss of the group can see the future of your world. When I was almost killed before, the boss came to save me and took away the ghoul who killed me. Can Ki Ken, the boss must be doing it for your own good, according to my speculation. Maybe this is the person who will kill you in the future. Speaking of which, the boss is actually willing to use the enhanced gene potion in exchange. Young man, you are very favored. Kan Ki Ken, after drinking the genetic enhancement potion, you will have superhuman power. Izumi Shinichi! Exclamation mark. Although Mano Shiho didn't say anything, she was also shocked when she was diving. Isn't this thing something from a science fiction movie? Really exist? At least they can't do it with their current technology. I what an inofumi. What? Exclamation mark. See the future of other worlds and genetic enhancement potions? Exclamation mark. At this moment, Iwatan Inofumi began to think deeply. It seems that this group leader has saved many group members, and is actually willing to exchange for such precious things as genetic enhancement potions. It seems that this demi-human is still very useful to the group leader. Iwatan Inofumi looked at the point small and saw the 200-point gene potion. If he kept signing in like this, it would take at least 20 days, and he couldn't wait. In this case, as long as this group leader doesn't lie to me, it's okay. Just when Nofumi Iwatani was weighing the pros and cons. Kong Zan, Iwatani Inofumi's exclusive red envelope. Kong Zan, since you're too weak, the gene enhancement potion will be given to you first. Kong Zan, by the way, you can also buy another one from the slave merchant. Slaves, as helpers, because the ratio of system points to currency is very large, basically 1 to 100 million. 100 million. You will not be short of money in that world. No Fumi Iwatani has received the red envelope. No Fumi Iwatani looked at the gene potion in his hand and was a little excited. He did not expect to be so generous. By the way, how does this group lead knows that he is weak? But if you think about it carefully, even in other worlds, you can get a glimpse of the future of this world. So it does seem reasonable to understand your current strength. And when he saw the currency ratio mentioned by Kong Zan, Iwatani no Fumi was instantly delighted. In this case, you can indeed buy a few powerful slaves. After coming to this world, did something good finally happen? He murmured. Chapter 63 Asian Girl I what an Inofumi, thank you, the group leader. I what an Inofumi said that this thigh must be held tightly. He had already drank the gene strengthening potion, and at this moment he understood the preciousness of this potion. Explosive power came out of his whole body. Kong Zan, it's okay, just remember to find someone for me. Raftalia is quite talented. I happen to be short of crew here. So I just want her to join. She is not old now and is a poor demi-human girl. I what an inofumi, I see. I thought he was going to kill me in the future. Jin Muian said, is he acting too much? He had previously thought it was someone who would kill I what an inofumi, although part of it was because of his own experience. After much talk, Kong Zan rejected it directly. Butterfly Ninja colon pfft. At your speculation has been successfully overturned. Kan Ki Ken, you, boss, why are you tearing me down? Kong Zan, I can't stand your pure deception which directly involves your own experience. Kan Ki Ken, sad. Kong Zan, oh, by the way, how is the task assigned to you? Kan Ki Ken, boss. Don't worry, under my protection, Ryoko and Hinami will be fine. Kong Zan, that means the crisis has not come yet, so just watch. I didn't expect this crisis to be slower than I thought. It felt like it was quite fast in the anime, but that's it. After all, this is not anime. Who can say for sure? Like a certain Shinigami elementary school student, he is still an elementary school student after many years. Kan Ki Ken, R. Dot boss, you said there must be a crisis? Kong Zan, well. Dot high probability. If you are in danger, remember to call for help quickly. But don't worry, I can save you as long as you have a breath, and I can revive you even if you run out of breath. Izumi Shinichi! Exclamation mark. I what an inofumi? Question mark. Mano Shiho, aren't you kidding? Mano Shiho, does such a thing as resurrected people really exist? Mano Shiho has actually transformed into Heibaru AI at this moment, and now lives in Drive Agaz's house, but only his real name can be used in group chats. Kan Ki Ken, I may not believe it in others, but I believe in the group leader. He once waved his hand when I was on the verge of death and my injuries were completely healed. Kan Ki Ken, the boss is as alive as a god. So powerful. Butterfly Ninja, Brother Kong Zan is no different from a god to us. Sayat Akagi, the boss is the strongest. Mikasa. Brother Kong Zan is also the best family member. Budamaseko, he is indeed a man worth trusting. Dot. Kong Zan, stop talking. 
I'm so proud, Kong Zan said that he was praising himself as he said it. I'm sorry, Dash. At this moment, Meno Shiho was a little unbelievable. She was leaning against the couch, laptop in hand, trying to jot down useful information. Resurrection of people. Gene enhancement potion. The group leader has the ability to see the future. And this group chat that appears directly in his mind. The various functions in the group chat, such as those in the points mall. These things are too outrageous, and some can't even be understood, and they don't know whether they are true or false. Mano Shiho can't believe it more and more, but the facts seem to tell her that these were real and existed. Is he really a god? Mano Shiho murmured the more she thought about it, the less she understood. She is also a scientist, so she is very curious about how this works if it is true. What is the principle? She looked at Dr. Ali who was drinking coffee and said, Doctor, do you believe in God? Dash, group chat, Kong Zan, in short, if you have any questions, come to me. Butterfly Ninja, by the way, Brother Kong Zan, how should I distribute these points? Kong Zan, well, I'll send it to you privately. Private chat, Kong Zan, how many points do you have now? Butterfly Ninja, there are only 10,600 points left. At this moment, Kong Zan was looking through the points mall and thinking about what abilities Butterfly Ninja was suitable for. Kong Zan, first of all, if you want to become a powerful being, you must buy the ability of Qi. First of all, I recommend you to buy Wukong Jutsu, Kaigong Cannon, and Kaia Fist. Kong Zan, there are also no side effects at Archie Shura, the Eternal Mange Kyo Sharingan plus Yuakai Bloodline, and no side effects Thunder Fruit. Kong Zan, if I buy these, even if they are two strings, I won't be tortured. Butterfly Ninja, really? Thank you. Brother Kong Zin, these are only more than 6,000 points. Just buy them if you want them. This way I can rest assured that I am strong enough, but I am afraid that I cannot protect my sister. Kong Zan, if you still can't beat me, just call me. Remember to hide your clumsiness and don't show your strength all at once. Butterfly Ninja, ah, uh -huh. Shinobu is very happy. Not only is his strength greatly improved, but also Kong Zan confirmed that he is now strong enough to torture the second string, which means that he can already protect Sister Kani. She sensed the power and she was surprised by the information transmitted to her brain by the system. These abilities were too unnatural and powerful, and they would not be able to kill Shang Xiana. I really felt like there was nothing I could do. I can only ask Kong Zan. At this moment, Kong Zan was looking at how many points he would have to spend if he wanted to strengthen himself to the intermediate level of destruction law. The result was another number that made his scalp numb. 50,000 points? The original price is half a million. Fortunately, I have the privilege of being a group leader. Otherwise I would have been able to collect so much money for who knows how long. I don't know when the next mission will be released. Even if it is released, it may not be worth 50,000 points. Kong Zan said to himself, I feel like it's a little difficult to level up. Never mind, eat the food one bite at a time. No one can become a god in one day. He comforted himself silently. Then he looked at his own information. Name, Kong Zan gender, male age, 18 possessing character abilities no side effects. Ghost King Musin, Sukuni Inishi, Ain't So El Gaon, Bone King. Saitama possessing bloodline, no side effects ability held by a pure Saiyan without side effects, vector operation LV5, skill held, advanced 3 color haki, wukong jutsu, vitality slash, vitality bomb, items held, slavery chain x8, gene enhancement potion x6, snack gift pack x77, infinite energy flashlight x99, military weapon gift pack x99, ship held, enhanced smart edition 1d sunshine holds the law, Low level law of destruction power, strength, universe level, low level god, mission, 1, main line, prevent Hancock from being abducted and sold to the celestial dragons, 2, long term mission, looking for crew members 5 tenths, note, they must be formal crew members, and they need to go in both directions, forced servitude does not count, just when Kong Zan was looking at his information, dong dong, there was a knock on the door of Kong Zan's room, then came Mikasa's voice, brother Kong Zan, Area 13 of Shampoo Islands has arrived. Hearing Mikasa's voice, Kong Zan immediately sat up. Okay, let them all gather outside the cabin. Kong Zan responded to Mikasa's words. At the same time, I started to change my clothes. Well, brother Kong Zan, come out quickly. I'll ask them to wait for you. Mikasa finished. Just da da and left the Shampoo Islands. Let's go meet the vice captain of the Pirate King. Speaking of which, the rally of now is the rally of 20 years ago. Chapter 64 Xiechi's Ripoff Bar. Then, Let's go out in three teams, with Yamato, Yeri, and Mikasa as captains. First team, Ryo, Seko, and Yamato. Second team, Aria, Maginet, and Yeri. Team three, Robin and Mikasa. Is it okay? Kong Zan looked at the eight people and said, no problem. They shouted together, okay, you can go free and play. Just come back before dinner. I have something to do. Kong Zan waved his hand. After all, 
We were on the boat for several days. Now that they are down, they have to be allowed to go out for a walk. Otherwise, you will panic. As for Bailey and so on, Kong Zan also gave them enough. Each team will be given one billion bully, which will be kept by the captain. A total of three billion bully will be given to the entire team. As for these Baileys being placed in space rings, after all, who can carry so much money with them all the time? Okay, long live brother Kong Zan. Awesome. Dot. Everyone cheered. After saying that, Kong Zan jumped off the boat directly. It doesn't matter so much anymore. He now plans to go to Xia Chi's bar. It seems to be called Xia Chi's ripoff bar. Kong Zan still has some vague memories. It seems to be on top of a huge tree root. In the Shampoo Islands, there are countless huge trees. Area 13 is no exception. Dash, I don't know how long I walked. Kong Zan also saw a bar, and the signboard above said. Xia Chi's ripoff bar. That's it. Kong Zan squatted slightly and jumped directly up. Opened the bar door. Oops. Looks like someone special is here. Xia Chi looked at the visitor with a smile in the tavern. Isn't Lili here? Kong Zan looked around and sat directly on the sofa. Huh? I never heard him mention it. Are you a friend of Rayleigh's? The pirate with a bounty of 150 million baileys. Kong Zan, Xia Chi said and took out the paper from the newspaper reward order. Didn't Yamato with 130 million baileys and Yeri with 70 million baileys come? It's really rare for such a young person to have such a high bounty. It is said that Yamato can use the power of ice, but it shouldn't be frozen fruit. Right? Xia Chi looked at Kong Zan with interest. Huh? This can also offer a reward of 150 million. Kong Zan's eyes twitched. I didn't do anything myself. There are also Yamato and Hiri. Did they expose their abilities too much before he arrived? Mainly because your members had abilities similar to frozen fruits. And they escaped from the Navy Hero Lieutenant General Garp. They also kidnapped a child named Maginot. Think so? This bounty is normal. Xia Chi took a puff of the cigarette in her hand and continued to speak. Is that so? Kong Zan touched his chin. Also, the reason why Garp is sure that you are very strong is because there are too many unknowns about you. That dot ghoul named Ryo. What a strange race. There are also 50 million bully. The other one is Robin. 79 million bully. The other members have no bounties because they haven't demonstrated their ability. Except for the captain. All the members are female. It's really rare. Dot. Xia Chi's words seem to have a profound meaning. Fortunately, there are only two adult girls, and the rest have to be raised slowly. Speaking of which, why don't you give me something to drink? Just apple juice or something like that. Kong Zan waved his hand and said, looking indifferent. Focus on a formation-oriented lineup. Oh, I didn't expect you to have such a hobby. But what you drink is really childish. Why don't you have some wine? This is a bar. Xia Chi seemed to have a strong interest in Kong Zan. No, forget it if Lee isn't here. I'll have something to eat here today and then go back. Don't worry, I have enough money. Kong Zan said snapping his fingers. Five huge bulging bags suddenly appeared next to them. There are 500 million baileys in it. That's enough. Just think of me as investing in your place. Kong waved his hand and said, five billion? How did this bag appear? Xia Chi looked confused. After walking out of the bar, I opened a bag at random. It was indeed a bulging bag of baileys, and it was very big. Just looking at the volume, you can tell without counting that it is almost 500 million. Such a big deal. Just to buy a cup of apple juice? Xia Chi looked at Kong Zan with sharp eyes as if she didn't believe it. If you think it's too much, just give it to Lee. Consider me as a filial party to his old man. Kong Zan said nonchalantly. Xia Chi went to the bar to prepare apple juice. Oops, I'm becoming more and more curious about your relationship with Lee. Isn't he his illegitimate child? Xia Chi said strangely. Huh? I just admire this Pirate King's vice captain. Don't worry about it. And it's not a lot of money to me. Kong Zan waved his hand casually. Signing in for one day will earn you 500 points, which is 50 billion. This is only 500 million so nothing. After signing in these past few days, I have been filled with money. Now I estimate that I still have more than 5,000 points. It's so arrogant, Xia Chi said. Young people today are really rich. Not a moment. Apple juice is just fine. And Xia Chi also thoughtfully provided a blue straw. Then he put it on the table in front of Kong Zan. Aha. Anyway, I estimate that I will have to stay in the Shampoo Islands for a year and a half. I'll take care of you in the future. Kong Zan stretched lazily and said casually, picked up the apple juice and drank it. Stayed here for so long? Aren't you going to enter a new world? Xia Chi looked at him strangely. Who would stay here for so long? No, I want my crew to practice hard during this period. Kong Zan shook his head, at the very least. Let Yamato and the others master the weapon color and the knowledge color. Otherwise, without Super Lock, Yamato, Yeri, and Mikasa would be too weak. Also. Other crew members must also practice hard to enter the new world. At least two of the three colors of Haki must be upgraded to the intermediate level. Otherwise it would be too unsatisfying. Although I came back from the new world. But it is also for cultivation. Cultivating here is relatively safer than the new world. Practice here. Then you have to be careful. After all, 
There are Tanlong people here. Xia Qi exhaled a puff of white smoke and warned, Dragon people, this guy's politics will be overthrown within 30 years. He raised his eyebrows, but he didn't care. Ha 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 ha. It's really impressive that you can actually say something like this. But it's still a bit unrealistic for the Celestial Dragons to overthrow them within 30 years. The world government created by the Celestial Dragons has been in power for 800 years. Why do you think you will be overthrown within 30 years? Xiao Zanzun. Xia Qi laughed and flicked the cigarette skillfully on the ash tray and all the ash fell into the ashtray. A, hey, don't call me that. Kong Zan showed a disgusted expression. Then his expression became slightly serious, and then he said, Besides, I said, if you can, you can. They are just a bunch of scum. In less than 30 years, they should be dead. Dash. Chapter 65 Slave Trader You are really an interesting person. It seems that you are really not afraid of the world government at all. What is your confidence, strength, or background? I really can't see through you. Dot. Riley might be very interested in you when he sees you. Xia Qi held the cigarette butt between the index and middle fingers of her right hand, then pressed it hard into the ash tray, making a slight hissing sound. The cigarette butt was covered in ashes and turned into a pile of ashes in an instant. Alas, I came here because I wanted to meet this legendary figure. If he's not here, I'll come over and see him next time. At some point, the apple juice in the cup had been finished. I finished my drink. Then dot goodbye. Kong Zan walked towards the door and waved goodbye without looking back. There was a crunch. Kong Zan opened the door and walked out. This boy is really cool. He left 500 million baileys and left. But Rayleigh will probably be very happy when he sees the money. A junior will give him wine money. It's really rare. Xia Qi looking at the five big bags of bailey, he said to himself. She couldn't see through the man who came this time. But she can be sure. This man is definitely not just a 150 million pirate. After all, he took out the money with ease. It's much more than his head. And attitudes toward world government, of all sorts. He hides it deeply. Dash, Kong Zan walked out of the bar, stretched a little. Where to go next? He walked on the road. When thinking about where to go, just, at this time, someone in the chat group liked him. Kong Zan entered the chat group and took a look. I what an inofumi, at Zan boss, I found it. It's the demi-human girl named Raftalia. Kong Zan, that's pretty fast. How about I go there now? I what an inofumi colon okay. Boss, come here. Just about to conclude a contract. Dash, in a blue and white circus tent. There are cages piled up among them, with many slaves locked inside. In the middle of the cage, there is a young man wearing a green cloak and a shield on his arm. He is I what an inofumi. He was somewhat looking forward to what the powerful group leader would look like. By the way, there are quite a lot of slaves here. The most expensive thing is the werewolf not far away which is 20 levels higher than him and costs 15 gold coins. But you know, one point can be exchanged for 100 million gold coins. So he could definitely afford it. So he planned to buy this werewolf. In the cage in front of him is a raccoon girl. Her name is Raftalia. She must be the demi-human girl that Kong Zan wants. But what he didn't expect was that the demi-human girl Kong Zan wanted was actually the lowest level slave. Is this guy really talented enough to become a crew member for the boss of the group? During this time, when he was diving in the group chat, he also learned that Kong Zan was a pirate and a very strong one. To the left and right of the demi-human girl were two demi-humans, one a rabbit demi-human and the other a lizard demi-human. The rabbit demi-human's arms have been completely twisted and deformed, looking up and down. As for the lizard demi-human, he exuded a strong murderous aura. And by I what an inofumi's side. He is a businessman who is not tall but has a big belly. He wears glasses, a moustache, a black top hat, and is dressed in relatively luxurious clothes. He is the slave trader here. Guest. Will the person you are waiting for arrive soon? Does he know the way? Do you need to show me the way? After all, this place is relatively remote. The slave merchant said to Nofumi Iwatani with a smile on his face. It shouldn't be necessary. Just wait. Nofumi Iwatani hadn't finished speaking yet. Suddenly someone behind him tapped him on the shoulder. And he turned around quickly with vigilance. Hey, Nofumi Iwatani, right? The person who came was none other than Kong Zan. Is the leader of the group, younger than I thought, he looks younger than me, I what an inofumi relaxed, then his eyes were very surprised, oh yeah, why did this suddenly appear, are you a friend of this guest, the slave merchant also came over, he was a little surprised by Kong Zan's sudden appearance, yes, is that her, Kong Zan looked at the raccoon girl in the cage beside her, what a poor girl, looking at the girl's eyes, she knew she had been abused in the past, cough cough cough, she coughed, it seems that he is not in good health either, although she is only 10 years old, she looks pitiful, she has long brown hair, two very cute raccoon ears, brown eyes, and a brown raccoon tail. That raccoon species has a mental disorder, and her panic attacks occur every night. I am also very troubled by this. The previous owner was a guy who liked to torture. I'm afraid she won't be able to hold on for long. The slave merchant explained to Kong Zan, Raftalia, right? Kong Zan ignored the slave merchant and looked at the girl. Raftalia replied timidly, her body still shaking a little. It's her, Kong Zan said calmly. Oh, even Raftalia herself couldn't believe it. 
and then she showed a fearful look. What's the price according to her? 30 silver coins. The slave merchant answered quickly. So, Kong Zan just wanted to use points to buy gold coins. I what an Inofumi stopped him. Boss, just let me pay for you, he said. I what an Inofumi took out a bag of gold coins. I want my bosses and the werewolf and help me choose a few of the others. No Fumi Iwatani gave the slave merchant a bag of gold coins directly. It is estimated that there are 30 gold coins. Oh my, my guest is so generous. The slave merchant took the gold coin very gentlemanly, did a little inventory. Then the iron cage was opened. Kong Zan walked in first and knelt down to look at Raftalia. Look at this sudden emptiness. But she became even more afraid. Kong Zan stretched out his hand. He touched her head slightly. Don't be afraid. Don't come with me. Kong Zan whispered softly. His voice was very gentle. Well, but her body still trembled slightly. But Kong Zan took her cold little hand. Let's go, Raftalia, Kong Zan said. Pull her up, no Fumi. I'm going to finish the contract first and go out to see the world, because I can't stay here for too long and I have to go back before dinner. I'm going to make the slave contract first, okay. Kong Zan looked at what an Ino Fumi said. No problem, boss. I'm not in a hurry. I also want to see how this kind of contract works first. I what an Ino Fumi nodded and did not refuse. Then, Take me and this child to register and make a contract. Kong Zan looked at the slave merchant. Okay, please come this way. Chapter 66 Slave System Kong Zan followed the slave merchant back along the road and arrived at a relatively open space in the circus tent. The slave trader called his subordinates. Ask him to bring over a ceramic bowl and a pot with ink. I saw the slave merchant pouring the ink into the ceramic bowl, then looking at Kong Zan, and said very gentlemanly, Dear guest, please give me a few drops of blood. After painting her with a slave tattoo, this slave from now on, it will be yours. One of Kong Zan's hands was holding Raftalia's, and you could feel her hands shaking, and she seemed extremely nervous and scared inside. He bit the fingers of his other hand and poured a few drops of blood into the ceramic bowl with ink. Go through the process and be patient, Kong Zan said to Raftalia beside him. Raftalia nodded slightly, but it is not difficult to see that the tension in the body has not faded away. The slave trader took a brush, stir the blood and ink, immediately afterwards. He dipped his pen in ink and pushed aside the fabric on his chest. And what is written on the chest is slave writing. The slave trader drew a circle around the words. Ugh! Raftalia cried out in pain. The slave writing sheds a great light. It became a slave pattern. At the same time, ding! To obtain a contracted slave. Do you want to activate the subsystem? The slave system? Kong Zan raised his eyebrows. Unexpected surprise? Turn on. Kong Zan said silently in his heart. Ding! Slave Raftalia's original contract has been eliminated and has been changed to the contract conditions of the slave system. Cannot disobey the master's orders, maintain faith in the master unconditionally, and will not suffer from diseases, and can be used after death the system spends points to resurrect. The contract has been successful. The host can choose any ability with less than 1500 points from the group chat point mall to give her. The system voice came again. How could it be? The slave pattern dot disappeared. Failed? The slave merchant was shocked. This was the first time he encountered such a thing. Even the contract disappeared. No, it worked. Kong Zan smiled slightly. At this moment, Raftalia suddenly felt relaxed and her illness seemed to be cured. She didn't know what was going on, but... A slave contract shouldn't be like this. She seemed to be looking at Kong Zan with some curiosity. She vaguely felt that this man had tampered with him, and at the same time she felt that he was a very sacred existence. Looking at a perfect and handsome man, there seems to be nothing wrong with becoming a slave to such a man. Maybe it's my luck. She didn't know why, but she just thought that. No Fumi, let's go first. If you need any help, you can tell me. Kong Zan waved to him. Boss, go ahead. I what an Ino Fumi felt that the words Kong Zan were enough and Kong Zan looked at the girl beside him. Her body was no longer shaking. Kong Zan held her hand tightly. He pulled her out of the tent. The slave merchant looked at Kong Zan's back with some curiosity, and then looked at No Fumi Iwatani. Master Brave, who is the person you call the boss? You don't need to know. No Fumi Iwatani put on an indifferent expression. After all, he couldn't tell anyone about the chat group. This was his trump card now. The way he treats the slave merchant now is completely different from the way he treated Kong Zan just now. The slave merchant smiled awkwardly. Ahem. Well, Lord Brave. Then let's go see the slaves. Dash, the architecture here is similar to the ancient western style. But most of them are bungalows. Only some nobles and the like would have castles. Kong Zan led Raftalia walking down the street. But he showed her his skills. In the point small, there are actually quite a lot of choices for items worth less than 1,500 points. It's just that you can only choose one, so it's a little annoying. Kong Zan flipped through the ability list in the point small. Then think about it. Sure enough, Raftalia is more suitable for speed types, right? It just so happens that there seems to be no speed type in the team. After all, speed is still important, as long as it's fast enough. Your turn is my turn, 
and my turn is still my turn. No side effects the sparkling fruit is pretty good, nor will he become a landlubber. It can also travel as fast as the speed of light. Make a decision immediately and choose this directly. At the same time, Raftalia on the side also felt this power. How is it? This ability, Kong Zan said softly to Raftalia beside him. Alas, this ability, did the master give it to me? Raftalia has already felt the extremely powerful ability, can elementalize itself into particles of light. You can also move directly at the speed of light. All kinds of messy skills appeared in her mind like instruction manuals at this moment. That's right, little raccoon do you like it? Kong Zan said and ruffled her hair. Looking at her petite body and tattered clothes, she looked a little pitiful. Kong Zan couldn't help but hug him up. It's so light. Kong Zan felt her weight and spoke. Master dot master. Thank you. I like it very much. Raftalia, who was picked up, looked at Kong Zan who was right in front of her. He nodded quickly, feeling the warmth in Kong Zan's arms. Her face gradually turned red. Let's go get something to eat first. Kong Zan said and went straight to a tavern. Even though it says demi-humans are not allowed to enter. But Kong Zan went in without hesitation. That a demi-human can't. Before Raftalia could finish her sentence, she was interrupted by Kong Zan. Don't worry about it. Kong Zan said casually, while hugging Raftalia tighter. Because he knew that Raftalia would definitely be nervous. On the way, Raftalia Yao looked at the parent-child bear in the seat. The child was eating the children's said meal with relish. Good guy. Raftalia chewed her fingers in envy. She must really want to eat that. Kong Zan thought about it. Then, he sat down in a position. Raftalia was sitting on his lap. Well, how about I sit next to you? Raftalia felt a little embarrassed. After all, this was her master. How could she sit on her master's lap? But Kong Zan suddenly shouted. Raftalia. Ah. Yes. Raftalia was frightened. Then, Kong Zan laughed and said softly. Be casual with me. I'm not that cruel. At least. Not to you. After Kong Zan finished speaking. He hugged Raftalia and let her in his arms. <clears throat> master. Raftalia nodded as if she understood. But it is extremely warm inside. Kong Zan looked at the waiter. Hey. Take your order. Here it comes. The waiter ran over. Kong Zan casually exchanged one point for one hundred million gold coins. Then take out a gold coin. Children's set meal. Then you can get the rest as you see fit. No need to look for it. Kong Zan waved his hand. And at this moment, Raftalia stared at Kong Zan with a surprised expression. What? A gold coin. The man was dumbfounded. I was a little uncomfortable seeing to me humans at first. Now my mood immediately changed from gloomy to sunny. Yes. Please wait a moment guest. I will definitely bring you the best dishes, the waiter said quickly. He carefully took the gold coin. Chapter 67 The Cute Little Raccoon. More updates added. If you like it, please add it to your bookshelf to support it. Thank you. Why? Why are you feeding me? Raftalia turned her head and looked at Kong Zan with a confused expression on her face. Maybe it's because it would be weird to give slaves normal meals in this world. Idiot. You look like you want to eat it, so I can't stand it. If you want to eat something else, that's fine. Kong Zan chuckled softly and then spoke affectionately. But why are you willing to buy me food, and let me sit on your lap, and give me such powerful abilities? Raftalia still felt confused. She was obviously just a slave. She doesn't understand. Looks a bit stubborn. Because. You are so furry and cute. I like it so much. Is this a good reason? Kong Zan said and grabbed her ears and kneaded them. And this tail. It's big, fluffy, and super cute. <laughs> Raftalia blushed when she was touched. But she didn't resist. Because she is a slave. And Kong Zan felt like he was holding a doll. So happy. No. This thing is better than a doll, just a little dirty. Just take it back and wash it. You two have been waiting for a long time. Soon, the food was served. The children's meal was first placed in front of Raftalia. Eat quickly. Kong Zan rubbed her head and said, Is it really okay? She was still hesitating. How big of a psychological shadow was there before? This baby is so pitiful. Okay, if you don't eat, I'll eat you. Kong Zan was deliberately cruel. Ah, I'll eat it. Raftalia quickly grabbed the children's meal with both hands. Well. They are slaves after all. See this scene. Kong Zan felt that the future was worrying. After taking two bites, Raftalia stopped again and carefully took off the small flag on the children's meal and held it tightly. Then he continued to devour it without any distractions. There were many people around who would look at him with bad eyes, but Kong Zan ignored them and was too lazy to pay attention, because his eyes were fixed on Raftalia. How long has it been since I last had a meal? Kong Zan sighed to himself. Even Raftalia's tail stood straight up. Too happy? Soon, the food served filled the entire table. If it's not enough, you can continue to eat. Kong Zan's gentle voice came again. Raftalia suddenly felt extremely warm. These words warmed his heart like the sun. While she was eating, Kong Zan looked at his slave system panel. Slaves. Number of slaves owned. Three contracted. Raftalia. Expand. Uncontracted. But wearing a bondage chain. Kamishiro Ryo. Expand. Area. Expand. If this is the original work, remember this world is there are level restrictions. Raftalia seems to be level one now. 
but she can't seem to see it. Maybe the system is different. No Fumi Iwadani in the original work also has something similar to the system. Fighting monsters and leveling up is just like playing a game. Talk. Mikasa's team seems to be short of people. After all, she only had Robin on her team. Because she has a system, she will rise faster. Although he is the captain of the third team, his strength is no worse than Yamato and Hiri. And using the points of the system, the armed color has reached the intermediate level, and the overlord color and the knowledge color have reached the elementary level. Yamato and Hiri are just as good as beginners in terms of armament and knowledge. As for overlord, Yamato has it. But Hiri doesn't know it. The way Raftalia sat on his lap and worked furiously to cook was so cute. Kongzan said yes, very yes. Talk. The demi-human setting of this world is dot the stronger the body, the more the body will reach its prime. That is to say, it will accelerate the growth of the body and make the body become about 18 years old. The physical condition at this time is nothing but the best. Of course, it won't last forever, it will just stay in the state of its prime as much as possible. The appearance will also become that of a big girl. Um, master, don't you want to eat? Raftalia felt that she was eating too vigorously by herself. Kongzan hasn't taken a bite yet. Kongzan, on the other hand, pressed his cheek slightly against Raftalia's ear. He said two words lightly, feed me. This time, Raftalia was stunned again. Shouldn't feeding the master be at least a servant's job? When was it the turn of a slave like her to do it? Oh, should I feed you? But dot but, you know. She looked at her hands. She herself ate with her hands. Seeing this, Kongzan understood what Raftalia meant. Oops, that's right. You have to get rid of the habit of eating with your hands. Before feeding me, you should learn to eat with a spoon first. Although you are a slave, you can't be so imageless. Oh, because you are my slave. Do you understand? Kongzan rubbed her little head. Then he held the spoon in his hand and handed it to Raftalia. Tell her to eat with a spoon. And Raftalia hadn't used a spoon for who knows how long. Even picking up a spoon feels unfamiliar. With that lame movement, I started eating. Then, Kongzan also started eating. He has quite an appetite. Raftalia really couldn't eat anymore. But Kongzan kept eating, and all the dishes on the table were eaten. You can see its staying power. Then, Let's go, Kongzan said, passing his hands under her armpits, made her turn around. Then he picked up Raftalia while he was on his own. It's like holding a child, master. Actually, I can go by myself, Raftalia whispered, her face turning red. You don't have any shoes, how can you walk? Go shopping with the master for a while. Go outside the city. There's nothing interesting in the city all the way down, Kongzan said casually. Just take her shoes home at night and give them to her and have someone give her a bath by the way. Now I mainly want to explore the world, otherwise it would be a pointless trip. Well, that's it. Raftalia unconsciously leaned against Kongzan's chest, feeling the warm body temperature, as if she could hear Kongzan's thumping heartbeat, and she put her little hand on her chest, thinking calm down your mood. I don't know what is going on in my head, my face is red, but my expression rarely shows a smile, that's all. He walked out of this simple restaurant with Raftalia in his arms. Welcome next time. The waiter saw Kongzan leaving. He quickly said with a smile. But the chance of him coming next time is really high. The two of them were walking on the street. Kongzan is holding Raftalia on his body, which is actually quite eye-catching. After all, Raftalia has obvious raccoon ears and tail, as well as messy hair, and the clothes she wears are no different from rags, and they also look dirty. You can tell at a glance that they are slaves. But Kongzan was in perfect contrast to her. Her whole body is very clean and tidy. The clothes she wears are of good quality, and she has good looks. The only shortcoming is the demi-human in her arms. Many passers-by will find this scene strange. Why is a human who seems to have a high status holding a slave demi-human? Dash. Chapter 68 It's different if there is an instruction manual after walking for who knows how long. The two of them reached the outside of the city under the gazes of various passers-by. After a while, we reached the suburbs outside the city which looked like a grassland. Kongzan lifted up Raftalia in his arms, and then lay down directly with a swish. The breeze swept through countless green grass, making a rustling sound. The lying Kongzan lifted it up to the sky like a child. Her brown hair fell due to gravity and fluttered in the wind. Look at this kawaii little raccoon. It's so cute. Raftalia. Kongzan couldn't help but sigh. He didn't know how many times he said kawaii along the way. But even so, Raftalia, who was not used to it, still became shy. She doesn't understand. He is obviously so dirty and he is still a slave. But why is the master so kind to me this time? Would you still praise yourself for being cute? She couldn't understand. She wanted to ask, but, looking at her master's doting and gentle eyes, she couldn't say the words that came to her lips. She was afraid. She was afraid that after telling her, her master would be unhappy. If he was unhappy, he would beat and scold her. If he didn't feed her, he wouldn't treat her as well as he did today. Because her previous mistress was like this. She almost never gave her food and abused her. She would take it out on her when she was unhappy. What she gave her was not normal food. Rotten apples, expired milk, hard and chewy black bread, 
etc. This is what slaves eat. She had not eaten the delicious soft rice today for who knows how many months, months, and days. It was also because of this that he showed such an ugly eating look when he was eating just now, devouring his food hungrily. It had been too long since she had eaten something so delicious. Kong Zan put Raftalia in his arms, motionless, just like a doll, so cute. All right. She didn't dare to move either. The little Raftalia just lay in Kong Zan's arms, but she felt that the master was really nice this time. And it's awesome. During the contract, she restored her body to its best condition, and the slave tattoo was gone, but she knew the contract was successful because she always felt a vague connection with her master. It also gives her extraordinary abilities. If she wants to run away, maybe, maybe. She can really run away, right? But now she doesn't know why she doesn't want to run away at all. She feels that staying with her master is a very happy thing. She just let Kong Zan hold her in his arms. She didn't understand, but she seemed a little happy inside. Even though I was happy, I was also a little scared. Her emotions are a little confused now. She was happy because her master treated her well, but she was scared because she recalled the past. Wow, there seemed to be some movement in the surrounding lawn. There was something in the grass, coming toward them now. The keen Raftalia raised her cute raccoon ears as if she noticed something. Master. There is danger, Raftalia said suddenly, feeling a little nervous inside. I know, Kong Zan didn't care at all. Immediately afterwards, swish, swish, swish. From all directions, several round, orange balloon monsters with facial features bared their ferocious teeth and bit them. Raftalia was also frightened and closed her eyes. She clung to Kong Zan tightly in fear. Kong Zan hugged Raftalia tightly with one hand and raised towards them with the other. Bang bang bang. In an instant, all the balloon monsters exploded on the spot. So dot so awesome. When he opened his eyes again, all the balloon monsters around him had exploded like balloons. Only scattered orange rinds remain. If you are too timid dot that won't work. After all, we have to fight in the future. Kong Zan's voice was gentle. But Raftalia still became nervous, and she immediately said, I dot I'm not afraid. I will work hard to become stronger. What prompted her to say this was not only the contract, but also her belief in Kong Zan. With Kong Zan's gentle treatment of her, her heart that had been bound to countless shackles in the past was gradually released. She meant this very sincerely. Really? That way I will be very happy. Kong Zan sat up and crossed his legs. Put her in front of him. He pointed to his cross legs and asked her to follow his example and sit down. Raftalia also crossed her legs. Try it first. Look at that tree. Kong Zan said, pointing to a tree not far away. While remaining still. The elements turn into light particles and teleport to that tree. Do you understand? He dictated but he was still a little worried that Raftalia wouldn't understand what he meant. After all, does she, a child, really understand light particles? But what Raftalia said next made him feel relieved. I understand, a lot of skills and knowledge just appeared in my head. As she spoke, Raftalia nodded vigorously, with a serious look on her face. That's good. Let's try it. Buying the ability comes with a manual. It is indeed a system, and it is thoughtful. Yeah. Raftalia concentrated hard trying to turn her body into light particles first. Soon, her whole body shone with gold. Sure enough, the explanation is different. The direction of the big tree. Try to control the light particles to move there. Kong Zan reminded again. The next second, Raftali appeared under the tree instantly, and then released her elementalization. She looked at Kong Zan not far away with surprise. Master, I succeeded. Raftalia said with a bright smile on her face. And Kong Zan also appeared next to her in an instant. It was successful the first time. That's great. Kong Zan rubbed her head and praised her. Well, I heard Kong Zan's praise. Raftalia narrowed her eyes in relief. Try again to use light particles to condense a light saber, and then chop down this tree. Kong Zan said and knocked on the big tree next to him. There was a clang sound. I understand. Raftalia also showed a serious expression. She concentrated on her hands. Want to gather light particles into a sword. Countless light particles gathered in her hand, slowly forming the shape of a light saber. Then gathered together. She took the golden light saber. Try it, seriously. Kong Zanshai didn't expect it to be so easy to gather together. After all, it was her first time to use this ability. Yeah. Raftalia looked at the tree trunk seriously, holding a light saber. Cut it down with one knife. Sure. The big tree was cut down instantly. The sound of rustling leaves came. The sound sounded a bit like a cry at this time. But. The tree actually fell in the direction of Raftalia. Ah. The light saber in Raftalia's hand was directly touched without any thought of counterattack. He was so frightened that he squatted down holding his head and lowering his head. After three breaths, she found that the tree did not fall down as she thought. She raised her head and found that the majestic body in front of her was holding the fallen tree trunk with one hand. Idiot, you should elementalize or counterattack at this time. Kong Zan cursed lightly. At the same time, he and Raftalia talked seriously about the solution. Then he threw the tree trunk away. Make a boom sound. Raftalia nodded quickly. Chapter 69 Slave Contract Kong Zan took Raftalia to practice in the suburbs until the afternoon. It's almost time to go back. After all, calculating the time on my side, it was almost time for dinner. At this moment, 
Raftalia is still practicing various skills to familiarize herself with her abilities. After several hours of exercise, she was mostly fine. Those skills are naturally the abilities shown in the original work, but Kongzan asked her to create her own abilities. Raftalia, it's time for us to leave. Kongzan shouted as he looked at the elemental Raftalia running around in the grass. Here I come, master. She turned into light particles and appeared next to Kongzan instantly. It looked like he was enjoying practicing. All right. It's like playing with this guy. This sparkling fruit with no side effects is really amazing, and you can learn any skill as soon as you learn it. All right. No need to learn at all. There are instructions. But that's fine as it doesn't waste too much time. Just let her use it skillfully. Let's go, it's time to go back and eat. Kongzan chuckled and patted her shoulder. Go back. Where? Raftalia looked at Kongzan with curiosity. Go to another world. Let's go. Kongzan just finished speaking. The two disappeared into the grass out of thin air. Dash, boy's bedroom. The two were teleported back to Kongzan's bedroom. Outside the window, it was almost dark. Let's go, let me introduce you to your companions. Kongzan said, picking up Raftalia and preparing to walk out. Yeah, Raftalia nodded quickly. Ever since, Kongzan took another girl on a boat. Then everyone was gathered together and introduced. All right. Anyway, Yamato and the others are used to it. Because basically, they were all brought here one by one by Kongzan. Then after Kongzan's intense speech, dot. Ahem, in short, Mikasa, she joins your squad and train her well. By the way, Take her to take a bath and change clothes first, Kongzan said and handed her over again. Mikasa completed the mission. But Mikasa didn't object, she was just very curious about this girl. The tail is actually furry. And cute ears. So cute, Mikasa said unconsciously. In this formal occasion, I realized that I seem to have made a mistake, and blushed with embarrassment. Ahem, brother Kongzan, leave her to me. Mikasa immediately replied seriously. Okay, go follow her. Kongzan smiled. He patted Raftalia on the back. Partner. Seeing so many people, they looked very happy. She couldn't even believe it. Are they all slaves? Probably not. But I am obviously a slave. Just like that, I feel inexplicable worries. She looked back at Kongzan, saw Kongzan's confirmation eyes, and then slowly walked towards Mikasa. Welcome to join us, Raftalia. Robin smiled at her. Then let's have a banquet tonight. I want to eat it. Yamato cheered and danced. Okay, I'll take her to take a bath first and you can prepare for the party first, Mikasa said to the girls. Then, she picked up Raftalia and walked to the bathroom. Kongzan looked at Li Shi and Aria. If they enter into a contract, wouldn't they also be able to gain some abilities? Li Shi and Aria also noticed Kongzan's gaze. Li Shi smiled slightly. Aria showed a forced smile. Li Shi, Aria, come here. There's something. Kongzan hooked his hand. The two of them walked over quickly. In this way, Kongzan brought the two of them back to the room. Back to the boy's bedroom. Kongzan started shouting at the system in his heart. How to conduct a slave contract. The system's voice quickly came back. Just touch and then recite the slave contract silently. It was the main system that replied. Now Kongzan is in addition to the main system. There are also subsystems, group chat systems and slave systems. I don't know if other subsystems will be added in the future. Will more and more subsystems be added in the future? As the saying goes. My system will give birth to a baby? Never mind. Now is not the time to think about that. Kongzan looked at the two of them. You don't need to say anything, just feel it. Kongzan put his hands on their heads. Then he closed his eyes. Slave contract. He thought silently in his mind. Confirm contract slave. Kamidai rise. Area. The system replied. Confirm. Kongzan said inwardly. The contract has been successful. The host can choose any ability with less than 1500 points from the group chat point mall to give them. And they cannot disobey the owner's orders, maintain faith in the owner unconditionally, and will not suffer from diseases. After death. They can use the system to spend points for resurrection. The voice of the system came. Check the slave system panel. Slave. Number of slaves owned. Three contracted. Raftalia. Expand. Kamishiro rise. Expand. Area. Expand. Kongzan expanded Kamishiro rise and Ellie by the way I looked at Asia's information. Kamidai rise. Gender. Female age. 18 race. Ghoul ability. Hezi. Line. Area. Gender. Female age. 14 years old race. Human ability. Abuse good guy. Is abuse considered an ability? Kongzan complained silently. The next step is to give them something with less than 1,500 points in the point small to strengthen their strength. Suddenly Kongzan saw a nice one. The bloodline of the ancestor of the vampire? If you give it to Li Shi, won't she stop eating people? Just let her suck blood. Kongzan thought it was okay. After all, even if she was given human blood, she would still be half human and half ghoul, so she would still eat people. But the vampire ancestor is different. Li Shi has been hungry for several days. If he doesn't eat people, he might really starve to death. Kongzan thinks it makes sense. Only 800 points. It feels like a bit of a loss. But if you want Li Shi to stop eating people, this should be the best way. After all, he didn't want to do anything that caused trouble. Because Li Shi's chatting ended up attracting the naval here gap, 
He might be the naval admiral next time. We don't cause trouble, and we aren't afraid of it. It's just troublesome. Kong Zan directly put Vampire Ancestor Bloodline into the shopping cart, since he had the coupon anyway, as for area. Otherwise I will give her this dot after all. Her own abilities are too weak. Modified version. Sin of Pride. A scanner's full power plus divine axe greeter. Introduction. Obtain the magic power of the sun. The closer to noon, the stronger and more arrogant you will be. However, after modification, you will only be arrogant towards the enemy and will not accidentally hurt friendly forces. As the sun rises, its power becomes stronger and stronger, until at noon it has the power of the sun. After the changes, it won't be too wimpy at night and will just return to normal. Introduction to Divine Axe Rita, a very large and heavy one-handed axe. But it can be easily held by the host. It can absorb and store all the huge heat and release it freely. Exactly 1500 points. As long as it is during the day, you will have a certain amount of combat effectiveness. It's pretty good. I usually don't fight at night. I also give you an axe. Conscience system. But this, crime of arrogance, is it's really interesting. I wonder if there will be a chance for Aria to beat up the Red Dog. After all, the collision between the sun and the magma is interesting and interesting. Arrogant aristocratic girl versus government navy admiral? Kong Zan wondered. Bo Hongyu was defeated by a 14-year-old girl. She was still super arrogant, which made Red Gyu half angry. She couldn't help but want to laugh. Chapter 70, Let's Have a Banquet. Then these two are the ones. Kong Zan has already chosen. Then the panels of Kamishiro Rise and Area were opened again. Rise Kamishiro. Gender, female age, 18 race, ghoul, ancestor of vampires ability, has he, scale he, area, gender female age, 14 years race, human ability, abuse possessing character ability, change addition is can a weapon, artifact treat a Kongs and looked at the two women, and then asked, do you feel it, Aria and Li Shi also marveled, such a powerful force, well, there is a good power, Aria looked at Kong Zan in surprise and asked, master, this power is so strong, like the sun, also yes, it seems that I can summon an axe, Aria said, as soon as he picked it up, an axe appeared. Blood. I feel like drinking blood. Li Shi had been hungry for several days after all. She looked at Kong Zan. He gave up decisively. He would definitely not be able to bite anymore, and then looked at Aria. He hugged her directly and bit her neck. It's not like eating her, just drinking some blood. It should be nothing. Ah dot ah. It was almost night now, so Aria didn't have much strength. He could only be suppressed by Li Shi. She deactivated the axe in her hand and tried to push Ryo away. The result was useless. Aria could only be held tightly by Li Shi. Sucking blood. It sucked her until she was exhausted. Kong Zan looked at the two of them with great interest from the side. This gesture made him click his tongue. Quite perverted. You too. After a while. Delicious. Thank you for the treat. Li Shi's face turned red and he wiped his mouth. He smiled at Aria. Bang. Aria collapsed to the ground helplessly. He looked at Li Shi fiercely. You bastard. Aria cursed lightly, feeling a little weak. This time, she was almost out of blood. Hi, Rishi. You can just drink blood normally from now on. Anyway, you are half vampire and half ghoul now. You can eat when you encounter bad people. If there are no bad people, just drink blood. Kong Zan said to him. Thank you, Master. Li Shi said and approached Kong Zan again. Standing on tiptoes, he whispered in his ear. Master, can I drink your blood? Li Shi said, while making a gulu sound. Do you still care about your feelings? I refuse. Kong Zan decisively refused. The game is just about playing hard to get. If you want to drink it. I can't let you drink it. If it is too easy to get, it will not be cherished. What a pity. Obviously everyone has done that kind of thing with you. Can't this satisfy me? Li Shi looked disappointed. The words are very thought-provoking. Aria, who was slumped on the ground next to her, was shocked. Was she about to eat something shocking? Li Shi. Be honest. Otherwise, I'll let you taste the fear of being dominated by. Again, Kong Zan showed a sinister smile. Hiss. Okay, I know. Li Shi's cheeks turned red as if he was remembering something. If you don't give it. I won't give it, you stingy guy, she said angrily. Kong Zan slowly walked towards Aria and said with a sinister expression, Aria, you didn't hear anything just now, otherwise I would let you feel the fear of being dominated, you or dot will you like it? Looking at Kong Zan who looked like a demon, Aria was startled and said quickly, I didn't hear you, master, I don't have any strength, stop bullying me, dot. Aria tilted her head. Her legs are so weak now that she can't even stand up, there's really nothing we can do, Li Shi. Take her to the women's dormitory to rest. Kong Zan looked at Li Shi and said, Yes, after all, I was the one who sucked it. Of course I know. Li Shi nodded casually. Then he walked to Aria, knelt down and picked up the princess. Humphrey. Aria still looked reluctant, but Li Shi didn't say anything. Then, Li Shi hugged Aria and walked out of the dormitory. Dash, the banquet started soon. Kong Zan also came out of the cabin. I saw Yamato and the others cooking it in and grilling at the same time, and we ate it on the lawn on the boat. I said, Yamato, if you have a barbecue on the lawn, it won't catch on fire, 
right? Kong Zan said with a twitch in the corner of his eye. Brother Kong Zan, what does it matter? Zero is here anyway. Zero turns on safe mode. Yamato shouted directly, his face red. Drinking? Wrong. Good guy. Kong Zan looked at the apple juice in Yamato's hand. Was Yamato drunk from drinking apple juice? What else can I say? A single deduction for a six. Safe mode has been activated. Xiao Ling appeared next to Yamato, replied immediately. Apple juice in one hand and mutton kebabs in the other. He was still looking at the Eden. Brother Kong Zan, don't worry. Come over and eat together. Mikasa sat on the bench next to the barbecue. Next to her was Raftalia. She changed her clothes, became much cleaner, and put on her shoes. Then her eyes seemed to look at her with dot expectation. Her tail is wagging so hard. Does she want me to say hello to her? Kong Zan began to think. Isn't this Raftalia? Are you still used to it? Kong Zan walked forward. He rubbed Raftalia's head. The moment he touched her head, her tail stood straight up. Yes, thank you. Master, Raftalia's cheeks turned red. Mikasa looked at the two of them suspiciously. He puffed his mouth slightly. Kong Zan seemed to sense something was wrong with Mikasa. Mikasa, what are you looking at? He turned to look at Mikasa and asked with some confusion. I'm not Dot. What are you looking at? Mikasa tilted her head. Her face is also red. He also tightened the scarf around his neck. Little Mikasa is also very cute. Kong Zan smiled. The big radish. Mikasa mumbled softly. What? Kong Zan didn't hear clearly and asked in confusion. It's okay. Eat quickly, he said. Mikasa took a handful of grilled mutton skewers and handed them to Kong Zan. Is it cumin flavored? Not bad, Kong Zan murmured as he looked at the mutton skewers and smelled them. Then he ate it. Mikasa, the roast is good. After tasting the taste, he praised Mikasa. Brother Kong Zan, as long as you like it. Mikasa felt a little better after being praised. Kong Zan sat on Mikasa's left, and on Mikasa's right was Raftalia. At this time, Xiz also came over and sat next to Kong Zan. Kong Zan. We are having barbecue. Is everything going well? Xizi asked, sitting on the left side of Kong Zan. Of course. Come on, let's try Mikasa's craftsmanship. Kong Zan said and handed the mutton skewers to Seko. Oh Mikasa, thank you, Mikasa. Seko took the mutton skewers with a smile. Mikasa's mood at the moment was like a disco, going up and down. Kong Zan was a little angry at first for giving the mutton skewers he gave him to Caesar, but seeing Caesar's gentle expression, he suddenly felt that it was nothing. It's so distressing. Mikasa said that her feelings were very complicated. Chapter 71 Raftalia's crying. It's time to eat. It's time to drink. Everyone had a great time at night. Yari played the shamisen, which made the whole boat feel good. Robin was reading a book on the side, feeling very peaceful. Maginot is cooking barbecue. Lee she also went out to hang out and drink some coffee. After all, she couldn't eat human food. Poor Aria could only lie in her bedroom. Like Yamato. He drank apple juice and fell asleep while lying on the lawn. This is what Kong Zan thinks is the most outrageous. Finally, Yari dragged her back to her room. Kong Zan took a glass of apple juice, walked to the fence, and looked at the moon. The moon is so full today. Kong Zan looked at the sky and sighed. Under the moonlight, the sea surface is sparkling and very beautiful. Because he is a pure Saiyan with no side effects. He can completely transform into a gorilla or even become a Super Saiyan 4 directly by relying on his own ideas. So I won't run rampant under the moonlight. Mikasa had just sent Raftalia back to her room and wanted to come out for some air when she saw Kong Zan. Kong Zan seemed to feel Mikasa's gaze and turned his head slightly. Little Mikasa? Still not sleeping yet? Kong Zan asked curiously. Mikasa looked at Kong Zan and walked over naturally. Brother Kong Zan didn't sleep either? Mikasa said matter-of-factly. It's harmful. Thank you for this time. When I suddenly leave. I want you to help me solve the problems on the ship, Kong Zan said, placing his palm on Mikasa's head and rubbing it gently. It's nothing. Mikasa didn't care. Her face was very calm. Huh? Little Mikasa, are you unhappy? Kong Zan curiously put his face towards her. HMPH. Mikasa tilted her head, as if she was really unhappy. What's wrong? Speak to me and I'll help you solve your unhappiness. Kong Zan narrowed his eyes and smiled. Dot. Mikasa hesitated and her face suddenly turned red. I was also a little nervous inside. I don't know if I should say yes. Mikasa, Kong Zan looked at her strangely. Why are you so shy? No dot nothing. Mikasa suddenly shouted, turned around and ran away. Looking at Mikasa's back, Kong Zan felt even more strange. This guy Mikasa is really weird. Kong Zan was a little confused. Forget it, never mind. With that said, Kong Zan drank the apple juice in his hand in one gulp. He casually placed it on the barbecue table nearby. Xiao Ling. Kong Zan called. I'm here. Xiao Ling responded immediately. Help me finish. Thank you. Kong Zan brushed aside the barbecue grills, and dishes, tables and chairs, and gestured to him. No problem, master. The light ball finished. A ray of light enveloped the area. Clean up all the trash and mess. Kong Zan stretched slightly and planned to go back to the room. Very quiet at night. The sound of Kong Zan walking on the floor was very clear. If I hadn't traveled through time. 
I would still be playing games all night long. Kong Zan began to think. Not a moment. He returned to the room. Dash, girl's bedroom. Everyone has a bed. There is also a room next door, with a total of about 26 beds, and one room with 13 beds. It's enough now. Everyone sleeps in one room. After all, there are only nine girls now. Now, Mikasa hid under the quilt, her face extremely red with embarrassment. Thinking about the scene just now. Somewhat shy. Idiot brother Kong Zan. Big idiot. Mikasa kept murmuring in her heart punching the quilt covering her body with her hands. He seemed a little angry. Sister Maginet, what's wrong with Mikasa? Raftalia looked at Mikasa strangely, then turned to ask Maginet next to her. Ah, uh, it should be. Puberty, right? Maginet actually didn't know, so she guessed. Huh? Puberty. Raftalia didn't seem to have this concept. Dash, strange. No reminder about new crew members. It seems that as long as you join the pirate group as a slave, you can't be considered a crew member. Kong Zan thought, although it feels a little pity. It doesn't hurt. It's almost 11 o'clock, and it's time to go to bed. And Kong Zan also felt a little sleepy. Ah, ha, Seko is sleeping with them again? Oh, Seko is too popular, right? After all, who doesn't like this kind of big sister? I have pity on me, a lonely old man. Dot. Kong Zan looked sad and lay down directly on the bed. Have no choice. And turned off the bedside light. The moon outside the window hangs in the dark blue sky. It is white and bright, like a huge diamond hanging in the night sky. The moonlight shines into the bedroom giving them a silvery halo. In the quiet night, the moon seems to be a quiet and mysterious bystander, quietly watching everything in this world. Looking at the bright and flawless moon, Kong Zan closed his eyes unconsciously. Dot. I don't know how long it took. Dong dong. Dong dong. The gradually clearer knocking sound reached Kong Zan's ears, and he was pulled from his sleep into reality. Kong Zan opened his eyes. Um, it was still the moon. He felt strange. It's not daytime yet. Who's looking for me so late? Kong Zan turned on the light. Go to the door. There was a crunch. The door opened. Woo. It sounded like a child's cry, and then a figure rushed towards him. Kong Zan took a closer look. It turned out to be Raftalia. What's wrong? Kong Zan looked at Raftalia who was holding him. Suddenly his head didn't turn around. Dad. Mum. You 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 you. Raftalia murmured and began to cry. Are you having a nightmare? Come, master, give you a hug. Kong Zan asked with a gentle look on his face, and picked her up. By the way, Seko, Mikasa and the others are all asleep, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't even think of coming to find myself. This cute little raccoon definitely doesn't want to wake them up from their sleep. It's so gentle. Kong Zan closed the door. Avoid being heard by them and waking them up. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here, Kong Zan said softly. Master, you 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 Raftalia cried even harder. The sense of security that Kong Zan gave her seemed to allow her to be herself as much as she wanted. Let out your inner pain. She cried for what seemed like several minutes before she stopped. But he was still sobbing out of breath. It's okay, it's okay, Kong Zan said softly again and patted her back. Master, don't leave me. Raftalia's A's were red. It really looks like he wants to be pitied. Okay, I won't leave you. Kong Zan responded helplessly. He looked at Raftalia and saw that she was walking over barefoot. Good fellow, she didn't even have any shoes on. It was because I suddenly felt uncomfortable and wanted to cry, but when I saw everyone sleeping around me, I ran outside. Finally, I thought of myself. Did I come here? Kong Zan thought, although most of it is not wrong. But it wasn't that he was the last thing I thought of. It was him that was on my mind from the very beginning, so I ran over crying. Chapter 72 Is your hair a little long? Come on, you cute little crybaby raccoon. You go to bed first, Kong Zan said and put her on the bed. Then he groped for something in the cupboard and took out a pair of his shoes. You still need to wear these shoes. You can wear mine tomorrow morning, he said and placed them on the ground beside Raftalia's bed. I'll sleep with you today. I won't do it next time. Otherwise I'll be called a lily to control, Kong Zan said seriously. He also has principles. If he is under 18 years old, how can he do it? That's a minor. Starting in half a year. The maximum penalty is death. Either way, I'm not a pervert. Lily, control? Raftalia seemed confused. She didn't understand what it meant. Ahem. In short, I'll make an exception today. I'll sleep with you, but I won't be able to sleep with you next time. Kong Zan rubbed her head and then got into bed. Raftalia nodded slightly. Being next to Kong Zan. I felt full of security. Drowsiness also appeared unconsciously. Crack a sound. She lay down. Kong Zan covered her with a quilt. Then he also lay down. Just. After a while. Why is this sleeping little raccoon hugging itself like an octopus? Kong Zan felt helpless. But it's so cute, and it's actually quite nice to be held. Kong Zan couldn't help but touch her tail. Hurry. It's also big and warm. <clears throat> Raftalia gasped softly in her sleep. It was a bit exciting to the point of being empty. Hiss. Empty is color. 
Color is emptiness. Kong Zan's hand quickly moved away from her fairy tail. Then I started chanting the Eliminating Desire Sutra in my heart. Kong Zan slowly moved her hand away and turned around. But there wasn't much time. This little raccoon hugged me again. No matter. Sleep. Kong Zan closed his eyes and forced the phone to shut down. Dash. When he opened his eyes again, it's date time. Kong Zan felt something warm and wet on the back of his neck. Suddenly his eyes widened. This feeling. He turned around quickly. Good guy. Raftalia was still drooling. Looks like you dreamed about something delicious. Are you treating yourself as food? The last person who bit him was the ghoul Ryo. I didn't expect that this time it would be eaten by a dummy human. But look at her cute sleeping face. Kong Zan really couldn't get angry. And Raftalia soon woke up. She opened her eyes sleepily. Then she saw Kong Zan looking at her. Master dot master. Raftalia sat up quickly. Then he quickly wiped the saliva from the corner of his mouth. Kong Zan pinched her cheek. Go and wash up. Are you hungry? Kong Zan laughed. No dot no. Raftalia said bravely. But the next second, her stomach protested. There was a goo sound. She immediately blushed. This look on her face made Kong Zan look so adorable. Kawaii is justice! Exclamation mark. However, she still looked strong and calm on the surface, and coughed tactically. Ahem, go wash up and eat. Um, Raftalia nodded lightly. She actually wanted to continue spending time with Kong Zan. Will do. But she didn't refuse Kong Zan. She looked at the shoes that Kong Zan brought her last night and put her little white feet on them directly. Then master dot I'm leaving first. You should come out early. Raftalia put on her shoes, glanced at Kong Zan reluctantly, and then walked out. Good guy. Just on the same boat. What? It's like we won't see him again for 1800 years. Kong Zan smiled and shook his head. Dash, as soon as Raftalia came out, she saw Mikasa watching the fish in the aquarium. Mikasa was also stunned when she saw her coming out of Kong Zan's room. Raftalia, why did you come out of brother Kong Zan's room? I didn't see you when I woke up in the morning. That is, Mikasa suddenly looked at Raftalia's shoes. Brother Kong Zan's shoes? She suddenly had an unbelievable thought and was a little stunned. You didn't sleep in brother Kong Zan's room yesterday? Did you? He said with full resentment. She wanted to come too. Unexpectedly, I was caught first again. It seemed like there was a strong dark aura surrounding him. Mikasa, how scary. Raftalia was startled by the smell. He subconsciously took a step back. There was also a somewhat aggrieved expression. Numb. So cute. Oh, forget it. It's my problem. Mikasa sighed. After all, he didn't dare to make a request to Kong Zan. After all, it's really hard to say, Mikasa. What's wrong with you? Raftalia saw Mikasa changing back to her original appearance. He breathed a sigh of relief. Then he walked to Mikasa's side. I, I also want to sleep with Brother Kongzin. Facing Raftalia, Mikasa mustered up the courage to speak out. Huh? Then just tell the master, right? Raftalia said, a little confused. Really? Will he agree? Various emotions of shyness, nervousness, and fear were intertwined in Mikasa's heart. Yes, master is so gentle. I will definitely not refuse you, although I went to see Master yesterday because of a nightmare. Master also said that it was only this time. But as a slave, I am willing to accompany you. Let me sleep with you, the Master will definitely be happy to accompany you Mikasa. Raftalia seemed to really think about it seriously, and then analyzed it seriously. Is that so? Raftalia's analysis seemed to make sense. That seems to be the case. Mikasa also nodded in agreement. After all, those who came later could sleep with Kong Zan. Why not her? Kong Zan will definitely agree. So the question came back to her going to talk to Kong Zan about sleeping together. Her face turned red and she felt she couldn't do it at all. Then her expression dropped again. There was a crunch. The bedroom door was opened and Kong Zan walked out. It turned out that both of them were in the aquarium nearby. Confused. What's wrong? Kong Zan walked over and looked at the two of them. As soon as she saw the person coming, Mikasa became nervous instantly. No. It's okay. Good morning. Brother Kong Zin. Mikasa's expression clearly meant something was wrong, but he still greeted Kong Zan. Raftalia couldn't stand it anymore and said directly, Master, actually Mikasa wants to. She hadn't finished yet. Her mouth was directly covered by Mikasa's hand. Kong Zan looked at the two of them in confusion. What are these two people doing? Ah, uh, Raftalia hasn't washed up yet. Yes, I'll take her to wash up, Mikasa said. He directly grabbed Raftalia and ran to the bathroom. Mikasa. Weird, am I so scary? Kong Zan touched his chin and thought. Then he smoothed his hair. Could it be dot my hair is too long? Chapter 73 Collective Practice of Domineering Early in the morning, Kong Zan called everyone together. Starting from today, everyone is practicing. We have three divisions. You must all know which team you are in, right? We mainly practice two types of haki, armed haki and knowledge haki. If you don't understand, you can ask the captain. I'll report it again. First team captain. Yamato. The team members are Seko and Ryo. Second team captain, Neri. The team member is Aria and Maginot. Captain of the third division, Mikasa. The team members are Robin and Raftalia. Do you still have any objections? Kong Zan looked at the nine girls and asked. No, all the girls replied together. Okay, let's arrange the training time next. Kong Zan made a rough arrangement later. 
and everyone understood it. It's basically the same as when Kong Zan went to school before, from 8 o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock. Take an hour lunch break to eat and rest. 1 to 5 p.m. After dinner in the evening, you can do your own thing. So I only train for 8 hours a day. Soon, this matter has already been arranged. After all, they are too weak, so they still need to train. Especially entering a new world. If they didn't even know how to be domineering, Kong Zan wouldn't have the nerve to go in. After the arrangements were made, Kong Zan noticed movement in the glass bead associated with Xiao in his pocket. I'll go back to the bedroom first, Kong Zan said to the girls. Then he hurried back to the bedroom and took out the glass beads. Focus your thoughts, Shay, what's wrong? Kong Zan asked. Lord Kong Zan, that the task of protecting Hill has been completed. Thankfully I arrived in time. Otherwise, I would have been killed by that guard member. That person is still there. A very powerful Tegu. Fortunately, my recovery power is strong enough to buy them time to escape. Say you said slowly, after all. It was indeed difficult. Ma Yin has a stubborn personality. He still wanted to fight her to the death, but he really called them away by force. If it weren't for her strong resilience, she would have fallen there. Well done. In that case, I promised to reward you then, so I'll pull you into the Zushin chat group. It's also an opportunity for you. Kong Zan nodded with satisfaction, and then spoke calmly. Zushin chat group? She was a little confused. But then, ding, group leader Kong Zan invites new member Shay to join the group chat. Red eyes, at yo. You were actually invited into the group by Brother Kong Zan. Congratulations, Shay. This is the chat group of all heavens. Kan Ki Kan Colon welcome to join. The person the boss invited must not be simple. Bushima Seko Colon welcome. I what an Ino Fumi Colon welcome new members. Dak Ho Saya, welcome, welcome. Butterfly Ninja, the person invited by Brother Kong Zan. Welcome. Mikasa Colon welcome. Butterfly Ninja, uh, do you know him? Red Eyes, of course. She was rescued by Brother Kong Zan at that time and later joined our organization, and she is also a very powerful person. Butterfly Ninja, as expected of Brother Kongzin, many people in the group have been favored by him. As expected, Brother Kongzin is the best choice to be the leader of the group. Kongzan, stop raising, stop raising, Kongzan. It was just a casual rescue. By the way, does the person who asked you to help with the investigation have any clues? Red Eyes, that person. I checked, but I only found out that he joined the police force. Red Eyes, I originally wanted to check again before telling you. Kongzan. It's okay, that's enough, Kong Zan. He actually joined the police force. I didn't expect it, Kong Zan. If you encounter him and he is an enemy, you'd better kill him first. Red Eyes, huh? Len I has seen him before, and he doesn't seem to be very powerful. Maybe he has some talent? But dot what will happen in the future, Kong Zan, in short. You are right to listen to me. Red Eyes, I understand. Kong Zan is worried that this guy is the protagonist. If we join the opposition, the revolution will not fail right? Never mind. It's really not possible to destroy him directly. Oh, by the way, system, now I have learned the low-level law of destruction, so I am also the god of destruction. Kong Zan asked. To be precise, it's the dimensional god of destruction, because the host's laws are at the dimensional level. I know what the host is thinking. If you want to say the god of destruction Beerus, I can say that from the power of the laws in this regard, we can completely destroy him, but the host's own strength is still a bit weak. Except for the power of the law, the host's combat power is only about 10 million based on the ability to hold characters. The system answered. Dot. 10 million? Isn't that enough to explode into stars? Is there really that many? Kong Zan felt a little weird. Didn't the host find that the life energy, the so-called chi, in your body is more than that of ordinary people? These are all the powers given to the host by the system. The life energy in those characters is just that of those people. If you don't understand and don't know chi, you can't use this energy. But the host can know chi and has gradually become proficient in controlling life energy over time. In short, you use after the chi is exhausted, the combat power will reach about 10 million. This is the system's calculation, and there will be no problems. The system opened its mouth and explained to Kong Zan. He seemed to be very confident. So, even if you don't use the power of law, you can be invincible in this world of pirates if you use chi. Kong Zan murmured to himself, and in this way, every time a character's full strength is increased, a portion of life energy, which is the amount of chi, will also be added. In that case, it's really good. By the way, the so-called life energy refers to the energy contained in the living body, such as righteousness, evil energy, courage, vitality and other spiritual forces, all belong to Qi. Try turning into a Super Saiyan later, Kong Zan muttered to himself. It seems that because there are no side effects, there are no big restrictions on the transformation. To put it simply, he can completely control his bloodline and become a Super Saiyan, or even a Super 4. This is just a memory similar to an instruction manual that was instilled in him when the system gave him his bloodline. He has never tried it, or there is no strong person worth trying. By making good use of Ki, you can surpass the limits of your physical body, but with your own fighting power, it seems that no one in the pirate world can force you to use Super Saiyan, right? Not to mention the power of law. Oh, 
as expected being strong means you feel safe. Chapter 74 CCG White Pigeon Is Yumi Shinichi, well, do you know what to do in this situation? Is Yumi Shinichi, picture. The parasitized right hand has turned into the parasitic beast Xian, and is currently learning. Butterfly Ninja, your hand, how to become like a monster. Dakagi Sire, so disgusting. Shihomano, it's a bit sci-fi, is it an alien creature? If I guessed correctly, it's a parasite on your right hand, right? Kong Zan. This is a parasitic beast. At Queen Shinichi you two can't live without each other. If you are parasitized, make plans for the rest of your life. Izumi Shinichi, alas, alas! Exclamation mark the boss of the group. Is there no other way? Kong Zan, yes, kill him and buy a healing potion. Kong Zan, but I think you'd better cooperate with him, because since one appears, there is not necessarily only one. After this kind of creature becomes parasitic, it will be extremely lethal to ordinary people. Kong Zan, you'd better communicate with him. Since you've been targeted, you have to get involved in this incident. You'll need him to help you fight back later. After all, he can't survive without you. Izumi Shinichi, huh? Is there really nothing we can do? Kong Zan, be ready for battle at any time. By the way, protect your family before everything is over. Otherwise, death may result. Seeing Kong Zan's words, Izumi Shinichi suddenly understood how much trouble he was involved in and sat down on the ground. Looking at Xie not far away, to be honest, he was a little at a loss. After all, this concerns the family, and we must do our best to protect it. Do we need its help? Otherwise, if other monsters like this come up, he won't be able to deal with them. Izumi Shinichi felt a little troubled, but there was nothing he could do. Their fates were now tightly tied together. Kong Zan, if there is danger, we will help you, but you must also have the ability to protect yourself. Seeing Kong Zan's words, Quink Xinia felt a little relieved, but as Kong Zan said, he must have the ability to protect himself. As for Kong Zan, still lying comfortably in the bedroom during the day, it looks really unusual. He touched his chin, looked at the points in the point small, and murmured to himself, more than 6,000 points, do you want to exchange them for something? Kong Zan thought for a while. By the way, if the crew becomes more powerful in the future, why don't I let them go to fight in other worlds together? You don't have to take action, you can happily mess it up, and you can also use the points from the prostitution mission for free. The idea is wonderful. But it won't be long before they become stronger. Shampoo Islands. Why don't we go out and have a look? Well, I'm afraid that when I meet a celestial dragon, I won't be able to resist slaying the dragon. Kong Zan looked out the window. The sky is sunny. It would be a shame not to go out for a walk. At this moment, something seemed to be sent out in the group. Ding. Group member Khan Ki Ken was attacked by two members of Beige, asking group members for help. Task difficulty. Low level. Task reward. 3,500 points. Number of people. Two people. Which member accepts the task? Kong Zan, at is he alive? Kan Ki Ken, boss, stop teasing me and come help me. I'm still detouring with them. Kong Zan, don't worry, I'll be there soon. I'll resurrect you too. Kan Ki Ken, can you stop? Picture, I want to cry emoticon. Share you, Master Kong Zan, let me help you. Kong Zan colon okay. Kan Ki Ken, boss dot I'm really going crazy. Dash, it's raining heavily. In the alley, Kan Ki Ken stood in front of Ryoko and Hinami looking intently at the two CCG investigators in front of him. One of the young and strong men is named Kotaro Aman. There is also a man with white hair who looks to be an old man named Manogu. You are a human. The two behind you are ghouls. But they are man-eating ghouls. Why are you protecting them? Kotaro Aman yelled angrily. At this moment, Khan Kiken also feels troubled, and I don't know why I want to protect him. But the boss said that if you want to protect, you must protect. Just carry it again and the boss will be here soon. Mr. Kanki. You have known for a long time that we are all ghouls. How about you leave first? Take Hinami with you. I will take care of it here. Ryoko looked at the girl in her arms. Hinami. He spoke. No, mom, let's go together. Hinami felt uncomfortable when she heard this. Tears welled up in her eyes, and she hugged Ryoko tightly. But Liang Tsai couldn't bear to see her daughter die in front of her. If she didn't leave, there was a high probability that she would die at the hands of the two Shirogans in front of her, so she might as well fight them to the death and still save Khan Ki Ken and Hinami. If you block it yourself, you might be able to block it for a while. Ryoko thought so and clenched her fists. An oversized moth-winged figure appeared from behind her. She pushed Hinami away and then planned to walk forward. But Hinami hugged Ryoko directly. Mum, no, Hinami was crying with both eyes at this moment, tears flowing down one drop after another. Don't worry, Miss Ryoko. Today, no one will die. If they will die, it will be them. Kanki Ken stretched out his hand to stop Ryoko from walking forward. He stared at the two investigators. Ha 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 ha. A mother abandoning her life for her child? HMPH. It's really disgusting. It's so funny. The way you ghouls imitate us humans. Oh, still, there are humans over there. If you insist on helping the ghouls, they can only treat you as a traitor to humanity and get rid of you. 
The person who spoke was the white-haired Matawuxi. His face was very strange and he liked the eyes, with one open and the other squinted. It looks a little scary. At the same time, next to him, Armen Kotaro had already taken out the Melek U ink from his suitcase, which was a K. It is a black metal stick, a heavy and powerful blunt instrument. I won't let you pass. Kenzai Kanki said. His eyes showed a serious look. I don't understand why you want to protect the ghoul. But if you insist on doing this, I won't show mercy. After saying that, Armen Kotaro directly picked up the black stick. Drink. The heavy stick was swung directly at Kanki Ken. It makes a swish sound when it rubs against the air. Kanki Ken quickly used his forearms to resist. Boom. He was hit against the wall with a sound. Damn it. Kanki gritted his teeth at the painful feeling on his back. He fell directly to the ground. Mr. Kanki. Ryoko also shouted worriedly. Unexpectedly, a human being would resist the attack of these white pigeons for them. The next thing is. Kotaro Armin looked at Ryoko and Hinami again. He thought that ordinary people would probably faint after eating this. But what I didn't expect was. It's not over yet. Kanki Ken fell to the ground within 10 seconds and stood up again. He looked at Kotaro Armin. Chapter 75 Kanki Ken's Perseverance Are you dot an ordinary human being? Armin Kotaro asked such a question. Because you must know that under that blow just now, if it were an ordinary person, he would definitely faint to death. You can get up so quickly, otherwise your physique is beyond imagination, or else. You are a ghoul, and ghouls are similar to humans. In this case, Kotaro Armin felt that this boy might also be a ghoul. Otherwise, why would you keep protecting those two ghouls? But judging from past experience, this young man is very human, and he didn't use any tricks when he was attacked. All of a sudden, there was a slight silence between the two parties for a moment. But, it was only for a moment. Kotaro Armin raised a heavy stick and gritted his teeth. Suddenly, his eyes were stern. He is an enemy, just like the ghoul. An enemy. My heart says so. Just because you think he is human, you can't be merciful. Kotaro Armin clenched the co-stick in his hand and rushed forward. Another blow was given to Kanki Ken who stood up. Boom. This time, the wall behind Kanki Ken was directly cracked. Kanki Ken's eyes widened. He coughed up a mouthful of blood. Then he fell down again. He's just a human. It has nothing to do with him. If you want to fight, fight me. Ryoko said quickly. There was nothing she could do. She was really afraid that Jin Muayan would be beaten to death. Miss Ryoko. Please don't worry. Kanki Ken stood up slowly and wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth. It's not that easy for me. He hadn't finished his words yet. Kotaro Armin struck again. One stick after another. Boom, 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 boom. Even Kanki Ken was beaten into the wall. Kanki Ken felt pain all over his body. Blood flowed from several wounds on his body. Then, fell down again. Hinami and Ryoko next to them covered their mouths. Because they are human and have been following them recently, Ryoko has thought them to be perverts many times, but in the end, they are willing to risk their lives to save them. You, sure enough. You are not an ordinary human being. But you are not a ghoul either. Kotaro Oman didn't understand. But there is no time to care about him now. Priority is to kill the ghoul. I'll take this guy back to study later. He just turned around and walked towards Liang Tsai. As a result, my feet felt heavy. Kanki Ken, who was lying on the ground, actually climbed up to him and grabbed his feet tightly. Are you willing to die? Just for two ghouls. Kotaro Oman yelled angrily. Before the boss comes. No one is allowed to hurt them. Armin Kotaro felt a little strange. Boss, he frowned. Madogu came up with a suitcase. Boy dot, what organization do you belong to? He looked at Kanki Ken and asked. I. Before he could finish speaking, another different voice came. Long wait, Kanki. A familiar voice suddenly reached Kanki's ears. Boss. Jin Mu looked at the visitor with some joy. Why are you so incompetent? You drank the gene potion. If you fuck him, it's over. Kong Zan shook his head helplessly. Because when he first arrived, he saw Kanki Ken being held down and beaten by Amon Kotaro, but he didn't fight back. Logically speaking, after drinking the genetic enhancement potion, you can have a 50-50 draw with him. But why couldn't Kanki Ken take action? Maybe it's because he hasn't entered into a life or death situation yet, it's too young. He really couldn't stand it anymore, so he came out. I wanted to see a good show. Next to Kong Zan is a girl wearing a black coat, with black hair and black eyes, and a long sword tied to her waist which Kong Zan gave her in the past. And she dot is none other than Seiyu. Boss, you dot you are. Seeing Kanki Ken calling boss, Ryoko looked at the visitor with some confusion. Are they Ryoko and Hinami? Kong Zan directly reported their names. Let them be surprised. Sorry for frightening you. I asked Jin Muan to protect you. If that kid offended you in any way, I will apologize to you. After all, I am a little far away. Come over and take some time. Kong Zan revealed, a harmless smile. Why dot you want to protect us? Ryoko seemed a little confused. And the other party looks like a human right? He was also a human with an unbelievably delicious smell. Ryoko swallowed unconsciously. It is said that he was the boy who went to the antique coffee shop with Ryo and Mr. Kanki some time ago, right? 
The smell of him was so attractive to ghouls. Even Hinami looked at Kong Zan intently because of the smell. As for Ryoko's question above, it also made the two white pigeons look at Kong Zan seriously. As human beings, why should we protect ghouls? And it seems to be some kind of organization? They pondered. R. Why dot why? I don't know either. It's just out of interest. Kong Zan gave a nonsensical reason. Are you kidding? Traitor of mankind. Kotaro Oman, who had listened carefully to the reason, was still wondering if he had experienced something that could help him put down the butcher's knife and become a Buddha immediately, and they help humans and annihilate the ghouls together. Unexpectedly, Kong Zan said such a sentence as if the question was child's play. He felt instantly furious. He kicked Khan Ki Ken's hand away, picked up the black stick in his hand, and rushed towards Kong Zan. Do you know how many humans have died at their hands? Arsal Jia hit Kong Zan directly with his big stick. But how could she let him hurt Kong Zan? Ding dong. She immediately drew her sword to resist. Humans? What does it have to do with me? I don't want to do boring things like protecting humans. Humans. It's enough to protect what you want to protect. You still want to save humans? You are so weak. But you still need to rely on the ghoul's armor, otherwise you can't do anything, right? Kong Zan said mockingly. Then he turned to look at Kanki Ken and threw him a bottle of healing potion. Just drink it and you'll be fine. Kong Zan said to him. Kanki Yan dragged his aching body and quickly caught the potion. It's a red potion just like blood. Look at this bottle of potion. Kanki Ken closed his eyes and drank it directly. The injuries on his body healed instantly. Then, he stood up. This shocked Mado Yuxu from behind. What kind of potion is this? Drinking it can actually heal your injuries. Not even a scar was left. It's like Dot A Ghoul's recovery speed. What on earth is that? And at this time, Mado Yuxu also knew that he could not delay it any longer. The current situation is not good for them. He opened the suitcase. Take out Q-Ink. A Q ink made from line. Dad. Dot dad. Hinami covered her mouth when she saw the scale. Tears flowed again. Seeing line Q ink, Liang Tsai also recognized it. There was no doubt that it was her husband's line. Line is like a part of the body of a ghoul. If line is gone, then something has probably happened to her husband. Why? Dot why? Don't, dear. Ryoko's eyes were shocked. Tears also fell down unconsciously. Although the heavy rain covered up their tears, it could not hide the sadness on their faces. Congratulations. You got the answer right. Yuzu Omoto saw the surprised and sad expressions of the two women. Instead, he looked excited and crazy, as if he was very satisfied with their reaction. 